Chapter 2321 Yi Yeo Chen Translator Born to be Long Chen suddenly shouted into the void. Everyone looked into the sky, only to see the void slowly twist. A group of seven elders walked out, with one of them being Elder Long. Elder Long smiled. Long Chen, congratulations on advancing to Nether Passage. With this, a brilliant path of endless possibilities has been opened to you. A brilliant path? I doubt it. I am just a regular cultivator. While it's the divine families that stand above everyone and control this world's fate, you decide what black and white is. How could I possibly enter your eyes? Said Long Chen mockingly. Long Chen was extremely dissatisfied with Elder Long right now. His previous good opinion of him had been wiped out. It was Elder Long who had taken over his matters, and when he had left, he had entrusted things to Shen Chen Feng and the Eighth Heavenly Dragon Legion. That was all understandable. However, once Long Chen was gone, Shen Chen Feng was replaced by Yi Ben Chang. Long Chen refused to believe that Elder Long had been unaware of that. Long Chen, there might be some misunderstandings here. Just now, Elder Yi Yeo Chen was just trying to stop you in order to make things clear before any rash decisions are made. You're too tense, said Elder Long. Yi Yeo Chen? Long Chen suddenly recalled that when the Dragonblood Legion had been stopping the blood race from entering the Martial Heaven continent, there had been a group of idiots from the outer branches of the Divine Families who had tried to make things difficult for him. They had thought that with the Heavenly Divine Writ, he wouldn't dare to touch them. But Long Chen had immediately started killing. He remembered catching one of them called Zhao Feng and demanding to know why they were targeting him. It was at that time that Shen Cheng Feng had appeared, and Long Chen had given Zhao Feng to him to handle. At that time, Zhao Feng had been scared witless and had said that the mastermind was Yi Yeo Chen. However, that also seemed wrong. Hadn't he heard that Yi Yeo Chen was only 37 years old? Why did he look more like 73? But Elder Long was clearly intentionally telling Long Chen his identity, so it couldn't be wrong. Elder Yi Yeo Chen is the youngest member amongst us heaven elders. He's only 37 years old. However, within the Samsara realm, it is possible to change the form of your life. For him to be in an old state is no surprise, said Elder Long seeing. Long Chen's suspicions. It seemed that these eight were all heaven elders of the divine families, but only Yi Yeo Chen had taken action ahead of the others, while they continued to watch. In a place that Long Chen didn't know of, a pair of eyes was silently watching everything happening here. Long Chen, release Yi Ben Chang and I will investigate this matter, demanded Yi Yeo Chen, glaring at him like a viper. However, despite his hostility, he didn't directly charge over. Long Chen looked at Yi Yeo Chen and then to Elder Long and the others, seeming to understand something. He sneered. What are you investigating for? Are you a bailiff? Are you a judge? Things are already so simple. Yi Ben Chang wanted to kill me. What else is there to investigate? Are you blind or dumb? One was called Yi Ben Chang, and one was called Yi Yeo Chen. Clearly, they were from the same side, maybe even one family. Releasing him would be freeing a tiger. Yi Ben Chang tried to speak, but his throat was clenched tightly by Long Chen, so it came out garbled. As for his soul, it was completely suppressed by Long Chen's Yuan spirit. With just a thought, Long Chen could kill him. Long Chen, Elder Yi Yeo Chen is correct. Things are still unclear. I'd advise you to consider Elder Yi's suggestion, said Elder Long lightly. Hearing that, Long Chen instantly understood that Elder Long was indicating to him that he didn't need to be afraid of Yi Yeo Chen's threat. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said that Long Chen just had to consider Yi Yeo Chen's suggestion. Of the eight elders, seven of them were just standing there indifferently. Clearly, Yi Yeo Chen did not have absolute authority here. Long Chen could accept or not accept. Had he misjudged Elder Long? Or was this to say that the relations of divine families were much more complicated on the inside than he had thought? Elder Long, what are you saying? Long Chen is just a mortal disciple. How is there room for him to consider obeying the orders of the divine families demanded Yi Yeo Chen. Also having heard Elder Long's subtle indication. Elder Yi, that's wrong. The divine families exist for the world's living beings. In this situation where a sovereign has not become apparent. 
we must work together with the outstanding heroes of the Martial Heaven continent against foreign invaders. We are all working together, and although the power of our divine families is a bit stronger, all the Martial Heaven continent's people have the right to express their opinions, even if they differ. For you to be so tyrannical, it seems that you're going against the Lord Venerate's orders. He won't be happy. Elder Long shook his head. Elder Yi Yeochen shrank back at the mention of the Lord Venerate, his expression growing ugly. He shouted, Long Chen, this matter involves the divine families, and before things are clear, I demand that you release Yi Benchang into our custody. Once we find out the truth, you will naturally have your justice. The truth? Justice? Are you going to find a bunch of scapegoats and push all the responsibility onto them, then kill them so that they can't testify? Do you want to play such a game with me? Elder Long told me that you were 37 years old. Based on your appearance, I didn't expect you to say such a brainless thing, but now I believe it, sneered Long Chen. Yi Yeo Chen, tell me, how did I end up offending a heaven elder of the divine families? Why are you targeting me? What nonsense are you spouting now? Shouted Yi Yeo Chen. You're going to keep acting? This kind of play is something I stopped doing in my youth. Long Chen shook his head contemptuously. He found that the higher the cultivation base, the lower the intelligence and the tricks played also grew cruder. Such tricks were child's play in the Phoenix Cry Empire, but it seemed that these supreme experts liked to play them, perhaps due to being stronger. They no longer needed to use their brains. That was why their excuses became laughably implausible. Long Chen. I am ordering you to hand over Yi Ben Chang. Perhaps Yi Yeo Chen's age was still too immature to have patience, resulting in him shouting. Yi Ben Chang suddenly exploded in Long Chen's hand, transforming into bloody mist. For a moment, every expert of the Martial Heaven continent was simply stunned. The giant battlefield was so silent that it would be possible to hear a pin dropping. Long Chen had actually killed Yi Ben Chang in front of eight of the Divine Family's Heaven Elders. Those were fourth step nether passage experts, and Long Chen had killed a commander of the Heavenly Dragon Legion just like that. Was that a declaration of war against the divine families? Long Chen, you, Yi Yeo Chen's eyes were scarlet with rage. Long Chen had actually killed Yi Ben Chang, his blood nephew. It's not my fault. You shouted so loudly that you scared him, making himself detonate. It has nothing to do with me. Long Chen waved his hand. As he slowly stepped away, he was like an innocent person leaving, as if afraid of being falsely accused. Long Chen, Yi Yeo Chen spat out Long Chen's name from the cracks between his teeth. His bone-chilling killing intent erupted out of him. Long Chen felt his body move against his will. He hastily tried to flee. You think you can leave? Leave your life behind first, roared Yi Yeo Chen. However, he had barely moved when Elder Long blocked his path indifferently saying, Elder Yi, what do you think you're doing? This was definitely a stall. Was he giving Long Chen a chance to get away? Yi Yeo Chen roared, I'm telling you to get out of my way. Otherwise, don't blame me for turning hostile. Yi Yeo Chen's roar made Elder Long smile. That's fine. Are you going to be hostile to the one up above as well though? Elder Long pointed up to the sky. Yi Yeo Chen looked up and his expression suddenly changed. At this moment a voice rang out from the sky. Right and wrong will be decided later. Do not make a rash move now. The voice wasn't loud, but it contained unquestionable dignity. However, the voice was heard only by the eight elders. Others were unable to hear anything. Yi Yeo Chen had been like a mad dog just now. So these words were effectively a slap in his face. He no longer possessed the courage to even fart. Suddenly. Rumbling rang out that made everyone look at Long Chen. They jumped when they saw that his retreat was just a cover for him to charge toward the distant Difang. Evil Moon shone with its evil light as Long Chen used this opportunity not to flee, but to approach Difang in an attempt to kill him. Difang's expression changed. He had used up everything in the fight and was now exhausted. He had no energy to recover, and Long Chen was now rushing over like a life reaping devil king. Although he had the army of the ancient family alliance standing behind him, they didn't give him any sense of safety. His manifestation suddenly shuddered, with the blood emperor spreading his arms and enveloping him. 
Runes formed into a giant shield. Boom. Long Chen's saber smashed into the runic shield, blowing it apart. He unleashed a second attack to split open the two hands. Runes dissipated through the air, and the heavenly Tao manifestation faded with them. However, Di Feng's figure had vanished. He had craftily set up these defenses as bait while he used a secret art to flee. It could be seen just how terrified he was of Long Chen. Di Feng had vanished. However, in the distance, there was another figure covered in black runes. Spatial energy exploded out of there as Tian Zizi also used a secret art to flee. Boom. A blood-colored arrow flew over, with a golden runic talisman hanging on it. It exploded beside Tian Zizi. He. Want to run? Keep dreaming. Xia Chen and Guo Ran laughed wickedly. They had interrupted Tian Zizi's secret art. Just at that moment, Long Chen rushed over like a bolt of lightning. Chapter 2322 Hunting Down Tian Zizi Translator Born to be we were still a bit lacking. We let Di Feng get away, grumbled Xia Chen. When Long Chen had pretended to be retreating, they hadn't understood what he was doing. It was only once he actually attacked that they realized. Otherwise they might have been able to stop Di Feng. In that instant, Xia Chen had understood Long Chen's intentions, and seeing Tian Zizi prepare to run, he took out a rune talisman for Guo Ran. Guo Ran had immediately used an arrow to shoot the rune talisman over. It disrupted spatial formations, interrupting Tian Zizi's transportation. Furthermore, for a short while, the spatial laws remained broken, preventing any further attempts. Tian Zizi's expression changed and he immediately summoned the corrupt god ancient tower, jumping inside of it. Boom. The corrupt god ancient tower was sent flying by a slash from Long Chen. If Tian Zizi had been the slightest bit slower, he would have been killed. A giant scar was left on the corrupt god ancient tower, shocking the experts present. Just what kind of origin did Long Chen's black saber have to be able to do such a thing? Not only had it broken Kun Pengzi's lightning halberd, but it had also injured this divine item left by a god. As Tian Zizi fled with the corrupt god ancient tower, the corrupt experts charged over at Long Chen. Long Chen hacked Evil Moon repeatedly, slaughtering the experts trying to stop him. Not even a third step nether passage expert was qualified to block his path. With lightning wings and the celestial lightning body blink, he shot after Tian Zizi. The two of them quickly vanished from sight. When the two of them were gone, the experts of the various powers were left in a daze. They looked around. The Kunpeng race's ancestral land was long gone, and they still were not quite able to believe what had just happened. Elder Long, Long Chen ignored the heavenly divine writ, disrupting the peace of the continent and starting a war. He creates countless calamities. Are the divine families going to be so indifferent toward him? Shouted Peng Wanli furiously, his voice hoarse. Kun Pengzi's death and the destruction of the Peng Emperor's statue meant that the Kunpeng race was doomed. Long Chen was their bane. The originally glorious Kunpeng race would fully decline. The Peng race's experts wept. Just how glorious had the Kunpeng race been? Everything they were seeing in front of them was unacceptable, and this had all been caused by Long Chen. They demanded justice from the divine families. Peng Wanli seemed to have aged countless years. Elder Long looked at him and said, we will be able to determine right and wrong after investigating. We will naturally get justice for the Martial Heaven continent. If Long Chen really did deliberately start a war to harm the continent, the Divine Families will bring our full power to remove the scourge. However, if there are reasons, then we'll need to investigate them first. The Divine Families won't let off a bad person, but we won't wrongly blame a good person. Bullsh T. This matter was clearly caused by your Yi Ben Chang, shouted Pen Wanli. But before he could finish, a ray of divine light pierced through his body. He instantly stiffened, terrified to find that he couldn't move. Maintain the appropriate respect when you face the divine families. We are always just and impartial. To push all the responsibility onto a dead person, what kind of wicked intentions are the Pen race harboring? Ordered Yi Yeo Chen, with just a pointing of his finger. He had managed to pierce Peng Wanli's body. That single finger contained a powerful warning. If he wanted to kill Peng Wanli, then all he would have to do was point at his head. Peng Wanli was infuriated. 
He didn't have Long Chen's guts to resist in front of a fourth step nether passage expert who was also a heaven elder of the divine families. Long Chen willfully slaughtered innocent people. Everyone saw it. However, this matter involves many things, and even the divine families must be careful with how we handle it. You just need to listen to the conclusion, said Yi Yeo Chen icily. As a result, Pen Wanli clenched his teeth furiously but didn't say anything. Elder Long, Long Chen is hunting down the top genius of my corrupt path. Doesn't that mean that the heavenly divine writ has lost any effect? In the future, we can ignore it too and fight the righteous path again. Right, demanded Zi Wentiang coldly. In the front of Zi Wenchen's icy questioning, Elder Long indifferently shook his head. Now you're thinking of the heavenly divine writ? Tell me, when Long Chen was undergoing his tribulation and you attacked him, did you think of it then? Well, Zi Wentian was stunned for a moment, but he quickly said smoothly, it was the commander of the divine families who said that Long Chen was attempting to overthrow the martial heaven continent and wanted us to attack together. Zi Wentian instantly threw all the blame to Yi Ben Chang. It was true that Yi Ben Chang had called for everyone to kill Long Chen. Everyone could bear witness to it. Hence, the divine families could not escape responsibility for it. Yi Ben Chang had a personal enmity with Long Chen. I'm sure that essentially everyone here is aware of it. The eight of us came specifically to investigate this. However, Yi Ben Chang was only in charge of defending the path to the Yin Yang world and helping you. How did he have the authority to order you? As for why you listened to his appeal, there were probably many reasons, but we're still not sure about those matters. The position of the divine families has always been explicitly clear. So don't try to blame us. We are only overseeing the battlefield and would never order any person or power to do anything. You laugh when you benefit, but cry when you don't? That seems to be lacking the manner of a leader of such a major force, said Elder Long lightly. His words were said without any fury as if he would never get angry, but he easily voiced their guilt without actually saying the words. Yi Ben Chang was in charge of the entrance to the Yin Yang world, and during that time, the various powers had constantly squeezed the righteous path, taking up more portions of the battlefield. The Xuan beasts in particular had provoked them several times. They had even killed the Zhuanshan Dao sect's genius and started a war. That had been the result that Yi Ben Chang had wanted, and his actions had encouraged even more arrogance from the various powers. The Xuan beasts were the most tyrannical. They had even sent their experts to wipe out the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Long Chen had caught them, and his fury was what had resulted in this. The source of the problem was still them, so they could only blame themselves. When asked who the source of the problem was though, they blamed it on Yi Ben Chang, making the divine families bear responsibility, even acting right and confident. However, Elder Long's words made the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and the others speechless. Unable to retort, when you bullied the disciples of the righteous path, did you think of the heavenly divine writ? When you killed our brothers and sisters, did you think of this day? Yi Lingxian coldly raised her sword, which still had some blood on it. That's right. Senior apprentice brother Wang Zhen was killed by you, but where was your sense of justice then? Have you forgotten your disdain and indifference from then? Cursed Hua Shiyu. She was still choked with emotion at the thought of Wang Zhen. He had only died to save everyone else. A generation's genius didn't die to the blood race, but instead to some brutes who only know how to fight amongst their allies. Just how wrong was his death? You still have the face to accuse others. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples immediately began to curse them. Who do you think Wang Zhen was to count as a generation's genius sneered a disciple of the Xuan beasts? That one sneer caused the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples to erupt. Compared to senior apprentice brother Long Chen, who do you think you are senior apprentice brother Long Chen crushed Kun Pengzi like swatting a fly? So what do you have to say about that? If we were to compare you, you would be dog shit in front of senior apprentice brother Long Chen. When he's here, you all become cowering tortoises if you dared to make so much noise in front of senior apprentice brother Long Chen. He'd slap you all to death with one blow. You animals. You were all so arrogant when bullying others. Just keep acting arrogant. Why do you all look like your dads just died? 
the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples joined the cursing of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. The time when Long Chen had been absent was truly stifling. Now that he was back and had even successfully advanced, sweeping through the other geniuses, they were excited enough to dance. He had killed Kun Pengzi as well as Yi Ben Chang, and Di Feng had fled in terror. Now, Long Chen was chasing after Tian Zizi, the righteous path's disciples' morale soared. Could they possibly let go of this chance to mock their abusers? The Xuan beasts clenched their teeth furiously. They didn't say anything else though because the Dragonblood warriors were looking at them like tigers looking at sheep. Although the Dragonblood warriors had stopped fighting, their killing intent had not diminished. In the battle just now, they had killed over 3,000 members of the Heavenly Dragon Legion without losing a single one of their members. The Dragonblood Legion was too terrifying. The Xuan beasts felt a cold breeze blow past their necks with the Dragonblood warriors looking at them. What now? Boss isn't here. So do we need to find an excuse to wipe out these Xuan beasts? Wondered Guo ran out loud. What kind of excuse asked Gu Yang, his grip on his weapon tightening. For example, the weather's not bad, offered Guo Ran. Don't mess around. Gu Yang rolled his eyes. The eight heaven elders of the divine families are still here to clean up the mess. We can't make a move now. Let's just wait for news from Long Chen. Meng Chi shook her head. She looked in the direction where Long Chen had gone. She knew that even if he had to chase Tian Zizi to the ends of the world, he would still kill him. Chapter 2323 Corrupt God Cemetery Translator Born to be the void exploded, and a giant bone tower came charging out like a shooting star. Qi waves blasted out of it as it rushed away at maximum speed. Boom. Another explosion followed. A saber image slashed into the corrupt god ancient tower, sending it flying with even greater speed. A new scar appeared on the corrupt god ancient tower, which was already covered in scars. Within the bone tower, Tian Zizi's aura was turbulent. Blood was pouring out of his orifices, yet he persevered. Long Chen was like a death god unleashed from hell to drag him down. Every time he attacked the corrupt god ancient tower, a piece of Tian Zizi's soul crumbled. If this continued, then even before the corrupt god ancient tower fell apart, he would be dead. Long Chen continued chasing and attacking. He asked Evil Moon, What's going on? Why isn't this damn tower breaking? Evil Moon answered, How could it be so simple? That's a legacy divine item with countless years of faith energy from the entire corrupt path condensed inside of it. It must have absorbed countless souls to strengthen itself. Although it might look broken and on the verge of blowing apart, the actual damage isn't that great. Without harming its core, the damage done to it isn't even as great as what we did to it last time. Once we exhaust all the faith energy, it will lose its support and be blown apart. As for that little fellow, he's badly wounded and has no chance to heal. As long as you keep attacking like this, he won't last long. But I don't have that much energy left either. Long Chen sighed. After advancing to the Nether Passage realm, he had been fighting against powerful opponents the entire time. He had fought against the four of them, and at that moment, over half his energy was used up by Evil Moon to activate its divine ability. Right now, Long Chen was only acting tough. He merely had a bit more than 10% of his spiritual Yuan left. It's fine. He's in a worse condition than you. So you'll definitely last longer. Just work hard snickered evil moon then can't you put in some work grumbled long chen how yun shang seal makes it so that my power must come from you you'll need to rely on your strength said evil moon didn't you say that you already broke the sovereign seal before demanded long chen i'm still a long way from that i only broke one level of it yun shang seal isn't something you can imagine at that time i really was too arrogant to run into him to tell the truth I still regret it. Well, whatever. Just keep attacking. He'll definitely fall apart before you, said Evil Moon. Even it felt great respect for Sovereign Yun Shang despite constantly cursing him. Seeing Evil Moon wasn't in a good mood, Long Chen didn't pursue the topic. He continued attacking. Originally, Long Chen should have brought Cloud with him to chase, but the corrupt god Ancient Tower was too powerful and he didn't want her to be injured noveloon.com even if Long Chen had the power to unleash one of his bigger moves. 
he wouldn't have time to unleash it. Tian Zizi would have long since fled. So all Long Chen could do was continue attacking like this. Every time Evil Moon attacked, the Bone Tower quivered and the Void rumbled. They passed by countless cities and sects. People looked up in shock when they passed. They barely managed to catch a glimpse of Long Chen with his saber chasing a giant tower and attacking it. Some people recognized it to be the Corrupt Path's core divine item, the Corrupt God Ancient Tower, shocking them even more. However, both of them were so fast that they were gone in just a twinkling. Only some people with stronger cultivation bases saw them. Long Chen's arms were growing weary. He didn't even know how many times he had attacked, but he didn't stop. He had no idea when he would be able to break the tower. Even with his willpower, he was thinking of giving up. However, seeing Tian Zizi's blood pouring out of him inside of the tower every time he attacked made him continue. They had gone to the other edge of the central plains. At this moment, a giant gate appeared in the air. The gate opened and Black Chi gushed out. The green mountains instantly turned into a land of death. Giant trees withered, while even stones aged and cracked. The air of death enveloped the tower. This wasn't the law of death, but a kind of death aura. An aura of decay and darkness. It was like the air of a tomb. Tian Zizi laughed once he flew inside the gate. Long Chen, you want to kill me? Come and fight in here. This should be the legendary corrupt god cemetery. A grave look appeared on Long Chen's face. This place was said to contain the body of the corrupt god. It was the corrupt path's strongest support. Who do you think is afraid of you? Sneered Long Chen. He charged in, his figure vanishing into the gate. Just a moment after he entered, a group of people arrived. It was the Eight Heaven Elders, followed by another mass of people. Back in the Kunpeng races destroyed ancestral lands, the various powers no longer dared to fight, but they didn't want to just foolishly stand there, so they had chased the two of them here by following their auras. Tian Zizi actually opened the gate to the Corrupt God Cemetery. Elder Long frowned. The Corrupt God Cemetery had several entrances but most of them were fake. There was only one true gate. It was said that ever since the corrupt god cemetery had appeared, the main gate had never been opened. It was said that once it was open, a calamity would befall all life. That was the prophecy left by the corrupt god. Or perhaps it should be called a curse. Elder Long watched the giant gate emitting endless death chi. The vitality of this region was gradually being corroded. In the future, this region would be a land of death. It seems that Long Chen actually chased Tian Zizi inside. Has that little fellow never heard of the corrupt god cemetery? One of the other heaven elders also frowned. He has definitely heard of it. But he has one hobby which can be summed up as playing with his life. Elder Long shook his head. HMPH. Someone who doesn't know the immensity of heaven and earth. He doesn't have the slightest shred of respect for anything. He'll sooner or later lose his life like this. How can such a person be of any use to the divine families? He just advanced to Nether Passage, and he's going to die in the corrupt god cemetery. Elder Long, you can give up on your fanciful thoughts, sneered Yi Yeochen. Clearly, Yi Yeochen was against Long Chen, while Elder Long had always been supporting him. The conflict between the two of them was growing increasingly obvious. Elder Long lightly smiled. Every person has a different cultivation path. Although Long Chen likes to wear black and has his own peculiarities, I'm sure that even you have no choice but to admit he has a charisma that no one else possesses. All the people beside him are willing to sacrifice their lives for him. Even the 12,000 members of the Dragonblood Legion are of one heart. At any time, they have absolute trust in each other. Can you tell me if there is anyone else on the Martial Heaven continent capable of doing such a thing, including the Divine Families? Are the eight heavenly dragon legions capable of such a thing? If they were, then in a battle of 10,000 against 10,000, with them being in the third step nether passage realm with absolute advantage, how could the seventh heavenly dragon legion be suppressed by the dragon blood legion? Elder Yi, you shouldn't keep being biased because of some small things, or it will appear intolerant and damage the dignity of the divine families Long Jun Wu. What do you think you are saying? Yi Yeochen's expression changed. These words were far too insulting. Elder Long practically declared him to have embarrassed the divine families. 
The two of you should stop fighting. Lord Venerate will most likely handle this matter, so right or wrong will be decided by him. Fighting until you're red in the face here will make others laugh at you, said one of the other Heaven Elders. At this time, the other experts of the Martial Heaven Continent were arriving. The Dragonblood Legion was the first to arrive thanks to Cloud. The others were also arriving one by one. As a result, Yi Yeochen could only shut his mouth, but his expression was growing increasingly ugly. Ha ha ha, Long Chen actually charged into the corrupt god cemetery? He's definitely dead. The corrupt path's experts arrived. When Zi Wentian saw the open gate, he raised his head and laughed. The other corrupt experts also laughed. No one knew better than them just how terrifying the corrupt god cemetery was. Having entered, there was no way Long Chen would be leaving. Idiots, who do you think my boss is? How can a little cemetery trap my boss? The corrupt god? He isn't even fit to carry boss's shoes, sneered Guo Ran. Blasphemer of the corrupt god, you are courting death, raged the corrupt experts. To carry my boss's shoes is praising your corrupt god. What? Don't like it? Come at me then. Don't think that when my boss isn't present, the Dragonblood Legion is afraid of you. Come. Let's see who in the Dragonblood Legion is afraid of you idiots. Guo Ran walked out and pointed at Zi Wentian arrogantly. The sound of 10,000 swords coming out of their sheaths rang out. The Dragonblood warriors held their weapons, practically daring the corrupt path to come over. With the Divine Families present, they weren't in a good position to launch the first blow. But if the corrupt path attacked first, then that would be exactly what they wanted. Stop. Those who blaspheme the corrupt god will be punished by the corrupt god. All that awaits them is death and terror. Killing them now is letting them off easy. Zi Wentian raised a hand, preventing the corrupt experts from attacking. Perhaps Zi Wenchen's words were believed by the corrupt path's people, but the others knew that he was afraid. Even if Long Chen wasn't present, he didn't dare to start a fight. The righteous path's experts clenched their fists. They had been fighting the corrupt path for countless years but had never terrified them to the point that they didn't dare to make a sound like this. Big Brother Guo, I'm hungry. Can I kill a few Xuan beasts for food? Asked Wild. The Xuan beasts' expressions changed. Chapter 2324 Heaven Executioner Translator Born to be the Xuan beasts' expressions changed upon hearing Wild's words. Powerful existences like them had actually been viewed as food. That was the greatest insult to them. Now isn't a good time. Why don't you take a nap? Suggested Guo Ran, glancing at Elder Long and the others. The eight heaven elders of the divine families were present. Although Elder Long had said that he wouldn't force anyone to do anything, ignoring them like that wasn't good for the future. After weighing the pros and cons, Guo Ran didn't give the order to attack the Xuan beasts. It was better to wait for their boss to return. All right. Wild obediently obeyed. He was about to go to sleep when Meng Chi suddenly handed him some roast chicken. Here, your big brother Long wanted me to prepare this for you. Upon seeing that roast chicken, Wild's eyes lit up. He immediately took it. Thank you, big sister Meng Chi. Everyone was shocked upon seeing that roast chicken. Even the heaven elders. That was no roast chicken. It was clearly a peak 12th rank magical beast. The raging flame bird. It was covered in divine flame runes which allowed people to recognize its identity. While it looked like it had been roasted, that was actually its natural color. Wild munched down on its leg. Flames burst out of his mouth as he chewed. People shivered. The raging flame bird lived in lava, and its natural flames were on par with the power of the top 10 earth flames. However, Wild was eating it like it was barbecue. It only tasted a bit hot to him. He continued eating after blowing on it a few times. In just a short while, a peak 12th rank magical beast was eaten. He definitely possesses the barbarian race's bloodline, and a high-ranking bloodline at that. Otherwise, there's no way he could endure the blood chi of that magical beast, said one of the heaven elders upon seeing this. The barbarian race has been extinct for countless years. There can't be one in existence. This person had to have encountered some kind of miracle to awaken the barbarian race's bloodline. One of the other heaven elders shook his head, thinking that Wilde couldn't possibly be part of the barbarian race. If Wilde really was part of the barbarian race, then he couldn't possibly be alone. 
he had to have a mother, a father, or a family. If such a terrifying race existed on the Martial Heaven continent, then it would be impossible for it to be kept secret. If you want to know his origins, isn't it simple? Just ask the Heaven Executioner and everything will become clear. Yi Yeo Chen's lips curled sinisterly. The other elders' expressions clearly changed upon having the Heaven Executioner mentioned. It seemed that this name was taboo. Elder Long darkly said, Yi Yeo Chen, I'd advise you to curb your craziness. Don't go too far, or you might lose your own life. Elder Long had always managed to act very indifferently, but a flash of fury appeared when the Heaven Executioner was brought up. Ha ha ha, what? Did I say something wrong? The Heaven Executioner is knowledgeable about all kinds of foreign races. This big fellow will definitely be research material for the Heaven Executioner in the future. Yi Yeo Chen laughed brightly as if he had won a round and taken the advantage. The other elders didn't say anything. They all just looked at the gate. Only Elder Long remained dark-faced. He looked coldly at Yi Yeo Chen, and Yi Yeo Chen returned his gaze. The atmosphere was frosty. When Long Chen entered the gate, the world turned dark. Although it wasn't pitch black, it was dusky. The air was filled with the aura of death and decay. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed into the corrupt god ancient tower once more, sending it flying. Inside, Tian Zizi became covered in cracks. He had reached his limit. One more attack and he would be dead. Ha ha ha. However, despite that, Tian Zizi laughed like a madman. Long Chen, you can't kill me. I am the heir of the corrupt god. Not only am I blessed by heaven and earth, but I also have the protection of the god. That includes all the karmic luck of the corrupt path. You could kill Kun Penzi, but you can't kill me. I don't believe it. Let me try another attack, and if you don't die, I'll believe it. Get over here. Long Chen charged over, preparing another attack. The bone tower flew away. Every time, after unleashing an attack, it would take a few breaths time before he could catch back up. Didn't you say I couldn't kill you? Why not stop and let me try again? If I can't kill you, I'll turn and leave. Called out Long Chen. Let's talk about it when you catch up. Sneered Tian Zizi. Long Chen. Something's wrong. We've been surrounded. Warned Evil Moon. No worry. Today, we must kill him one way or another. Long Chen pressed on, ignoring everything else. Very quickly, he was close enough to raise Evil Moon once again. His saber fell toward the bone tower. However, the void suddenly exploded and the surrounding space completely changed. At some point, he had appeared within a giant cemetery. Countless gravestones could be seen, and they went further than he could see. Those gravestones now shot out chains toward the corrupt god ancient tower. Divine runes flowed through them, and the bone tower seemed to have received the nourishment of some kind of energy. Boom. Long Chen's attack landed and his arms shook. He was blown back by the backlash which almost caused him to cough up blood. Inside, Tian Tixizi was coughing up more blood. Just how much blood did he still have in his body to not have coughed it all up after all this time? Ha ha ha, Long Chen, how is that? Now you believe me, right? You can't kill me. Tian Zizi wiped off the blood and laughed. He actually flew out of the tower to stand on top of it, looking down on Long Chen. By standing there, all the energy of the surroundings surged toward him. It was like he was the master of the world, and his injuries slowly began to heal. Long Chen, the most foolish thing you've ever done in your life is to chase me into the corrupt god cemetery. There is no way you will ever leave. Perhaps this was the guidance of the mighty corrupt god, letting me obtain another powerful puppet. Tian Zizi clapped his hands together, and countless gravestones split open. They were like a giant formation shooting out rays of light that completely sealed this area. How laughable. Since I dared to come, it means I'm not afraid of your little tricks. Long Chen sneered. A dragon cry rang out and a giant lightning dragon appeared. Lightning blasted apart the barrier that had just formed. HMPH. Even if you have Thunder Force, how will you fight against the energy of the entire world? Tian Zizi was not at all surprised by Lai Long's appearance and the destruction of the barrier. It was no longer any secret that Long Chen was raising a lightning dragon capable of devouring tribulation lightning, turning that lightning into its own. Heavenly tribulation lightning was of the pure yang aspect, 
the bane of all fiendish and demonic energies. He was well aware of that, yet he was still confident. The entire world shook as more gravestones split open. Pillars of light shot over. Lai Long's giant form still appeared small in the face of the power of the entire world, and it was trapped within the intertwining lights. The corrupt god cemetery was so large that it was impossible to see its end. Chains of death shot out, and parts of Lai Long began to crumble. Long Chen, you must not be aware of this, but the corrupt god cemetery does not just contain the bones of the corrupt god, it also has the true body of the one that you call the corrupt emperor. At the same time, it has millions and millions of heavenly geniuses born throughout countless years. Every gravestone has an outstanding figure buried beneath it. In their lives, they killed countless experts of the righteous path, giving them the qualifications to be buried here. Every one of them buried their life's power here. Do you know why the divine families can wave off the other powers, but must maintain the proper respect toward the corrupt path? It's because the power contained within the corrupt god cemetery is enough to destroy the entire martial heaven continent. Even if the eight heaven elders from the divine families came in, they wouldn't be able to leave. Sneered Tian Zizi. More pillars of light soared. As if agreeing with Tian Zizi, the entire corrupt god cemetery was covered in light. Chains of death were also present. Within the light was their darkness, and the aura of death was thick. Lai Long's body flickered as it fought. It was like a lamp in a world of darkness. Hence, it retreated behind Long Chen and glared at Tian Zizi. Are you bragging? After being chased down to your ancestors' tombs, your ancestors are cursing you inside their coffins. They probably want to charge out and beat you for this disrespect. Responded Long Chen. All you have is a sharp mouth. I'll just treat those as your final words. Just quietly enjoy the taste of death. Tian Zizi suddenly slammed the corrupt god ancient tower with a palm. Just now, as they were talking, the corrupt god ancient tower's wounds had all healed. Its aura was even more terrifying than before. Long Chen, don't worry. I won't use the laws here to kill you. I will openly defeat you. Don't you claim to be undefeatable within the same realm? Today, I will break that miracle. Letting the world know that in front of the one known as Tian Zizi, you, Long Chen, are just an ant. Tian Zizi's manifestation burst into existence, and the giant corrupt god unleashed boundless pressure. It actually grabbed the bone tower to use as a weapon. Its aura was completely different from before. On the martial heaven continent, my manifestation is suppressed by the laws and unable to bring out its full form. I can't use its true power. Now, I'll show you my true body. Tian Zizi waved a hand. A blood-colored spear appeared and suddenly stabbed into the void. Chapter 2325 Ninth Form of Heaven Corrupter Soul Drawer Translator Born to be layers of chains surrounded Long Chen and Tian Zizi, following Tian Zizi's movements. At the same time, the martial heaven continent's experts standing outside the gate to the corrupt god cemetery suddenly got to watch a revealed scene. Rumbling sounds accompanied the images. Is that Long Chen and Tian Zizi? Where is that? How is it so bizarre? Is it really the interior of the corrupt god cemetery? Shocked cries rang out. The gate was showing Long Chen and Tian Zizi facing each other amidst endless darkness. Ha ha ha. Long Chen has been drawn into the depths of the corrupt god cemetery. Even if he had nine lives, he wouldn't be able to leave alive. Laughed Zi Wentian. What a joke. Even the netherworld was barged into by my boss along with the rest of us. As for a little corrupt god cemetery, you must be dreaming if you think it can trap my boss, sneered Guo Ran. HMPH, just wait for the moment we can enjoy the sight of Long Chen dying, snorted Zi Wentian. Within the corrupt god cemetery, with the lightning dragon curling around him, Long Chen looked up to see a screen of light in the air. From that screen, he could vaguely see what was happening outside. He looked back to Tian Zizi. Knowing that Tian Zizi wanted everyone to watch as he killed him. To tell the truth. Sometimes I really admire you. Sighed Long Chen. Oh? What do you admire? Asked Tian Zizi curiously. He seemed to believe that victory was already within his grasp. I've never been able to figure out how you people have so much blind confidence. Just where does it come from? You have nothing to base your belief on. Do you know my trump cards? 
Do you know why I dared to enter the corrupt God Cemetery? To be honest, your confidence is a bit worrying. It's like your trump cards are stronger than mine. I'm very curious about the truth, said Long Chen. What a waste of words. You want to see the truth? While chasing me, you must have recovered to about 30%, right? Then I won't take advantage of you. I'll let you attack first, and I'll use power to show you what despair is. Tian Zizi's aura had fully recovered. With the support of the loss here, his power was growing even greater than before. Really? Then I won't stand on courtesy Long Chen suddenly reached out a hand. He slowly raised it, and in front of Tian Zizi's cold gaze, he lightly snapped it. The snap of his fingers left people guessing just what kind of peerless technique he would be using. His aura didn't change at all. But at that moment, the lightning dragon behind him opened its mouth. A lightning sword shot out toward Tian Zizi. The countless chains filling the air shuddered just from the existence of that lightning sword. Cracks appeared along them. Although Thunder Force was the bane of the loss here, it was more like water against fire. One drop of water couldn't possibly resist in the face of a blazing inferno. Tian Zizi controlled the loss of the entire corrupt god cemetery, while what Long Chen had was just a lightning houseboat. Besides, what kind of power could possibly destroy the loss of the corrupt god cemetery? The lightning sword definitely didn't have the requisite power to do such a thing. Hence, Tian Zizi didn't even have to care about it. Runes condensed from every direction of the world and pulled into his blood-colored spear. The surrounding death chi was sucked up by it. Boom. Lightning exploded and Tian Zizi hacked up blood, his spear flying out of his hold and vanishing. On the other hand, the lightning sword continued onward, smashing through the thousands of chains and creating a giant hole. What the people outside were dumbfounded by this result. Tian Zizi was like the ruler of a world. With just a wave of his hand, he could control the corrupt god cemetery's laws. Everyone knew that he had currently reached an unimaginably horrific level. However, Long Chen didn't even attack him personally and had only sent out a single houseboat. This kind of attack should be considered a probing blow that Tian Zizi could wipe out easily. But the result was inexplicable. Zi Wentian in particular was stunned. Unable to accept this result. Meanwhile, Tian Zizi stared in shock at his right hand, which was completely crushed from that exchange. Ha ha ha. Do you see? This is my boss's number one trump card. With just a snap of his fingers, he can make Tian Zizi piss himself. Guo Ran arrogantly laughed. The sight of the shocked corrupt experts was incredibly refreshing. This one attack didn't just shock the corrupt path but also everyone here. Even the eight heaven elders were startled. That sword, it, it seems to possess the aura of a sovereign, said one of the heaven elders bewildered. It truly did have the slightest aura of a sovereign. Although it was just a tiny bit, it was enough to break apart the laws inside the corrupt god cemetery. That lightning houseboat of Long Chen's is incredible, said another heaven elder. That lightning houseboat is a defiance of the heavens. The sovereign left a mark on the heavenly tribulation and that was enough for it to take in the slightest aura of the sovereign. That little bit of aura is capable of making its attack supersede the various laws, so power on the same level is unable to compete with it. To suppress it would require at least double the power. The oldest of the eight heaven elders spoke for the first time. His voice contained some praise as well as envy. If Long Chen raised his lightning pet properly, it would become a supreme killing weapon. As for Yi Yeo Chen, he had a hint of jealousy, as well as darkness in his eyes. An unreadable smile appeared on his face. Within the corrupt god cemetery, Tian Zizi was completely dumbfounded. He had never imagined that Long Chen's lightning pet would be capable of such a terrifying attack. When that attack had been unleashed, he had felt the power supporting him in this world being stripped away, resulting in him losing most of his power. Damn, Long Chen, you really are crazy. You managed to absorb the mark of the sovereign evil moon cried out in shock. But of course, a treasure that has reached my hands cannot escape, chortled Long Chen. When he had absorbed the final lightning rune left behind by the sovereign, he had managed to assimilate a part of its aura for Lai Long. Having been stabbed through by the sovereign's sword, Long Chen had a profound understanding of what made that sword so terrifying. He had hoped for Lai Long to be able to imitate it. 
since the heavenly deos were able to imitate the sovereign's techniques, then Lai Long should be capable of the same. Unfortunately, reality was far from his fanciful thoughts. The rune had just been a mark of the heavenly deos, and the sovereign aura had vanished with the fading away of his clone. Fortunately, he had been clever and had Lai Long absorb it with him. As a result, Lai Long managed to imitate the slightest bit of the sovereign's aura but that slightest bit was enough to allow Lai Long's attacks to become incomparably sharper. That was why Lai Long had not participated in the battle after the tribulation. Long Chen had conserved it as a trump card. Even when hunting down Tian Zizi, Long Chen didn't think that he was worth using that trump card. This trump card was why Long Chen dared to charge into the corrupt god cemetery so recklessly. Today's the day for you to become famous. It'll be up to you. Long Chen jumped onto Lai Long's head and laughed. As a reply, Lai Long let out a heaven-shaking roar. Lightning exploded in every direction, and the entire corrupt god cemetery quaked. With Lai Long at the center, one grave after another exploded. After the tribulation, Lai Long had gained its own true dragon pressure. It seemed that this tribulation had allowed Lai Long to awaken some kind of mysterious energy, making it into a dragon. Be suppressed. Tian Zizi roared. He had never imagined that Long Chen's lightning dragon would grow to such a terrifying level. In all his calculations, this had never entered the equation. His manifestation quivered, and the corrupt god ancient tower came smashing toward them. Boom. With a flick of Lai Long's tail, the tower was sent flying. Its tail was like a heavenly whip tearing through the void, smashing apart laws. Opening its mouth, Lai Long shot out another giant sword. It didn't want to be entangled with the corrupt god ancient tower. Its only target was Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi's manifestation waved a hand, and the spear that had been sent flying returned, shooting toward the sword. Boom. The lightning sword exploded, but the figure in Tian Zizi's manifestation was also forced back. Even his manifestation of the corrupt god wasn't able to keep up with Lai Long so easily. Ninth form of heaven corrupter. Soul drawer. Tian Zizi's face twisted malevolently. Chains shot out of the forehead of his manifestation, binding him and pulling him inside. Tian Zizi's flesh and blood dispersed throughout his manifestation. His manifestation was infected with his aura as it came to life. That giant manifestation suddenly opened its mouth. Tian Zizi's voice was hoarse but still contained dense killing intent. Long Chen, I already said that I am the ruler of this world. You aren't qualified to fight me. Tian Zizi had actually used his own soul and spirit blood to control his manifestation. His manifestation waved a hand, and all the laws of the corrupt god cemetery moved with it. A spear pierced toward Long Chen. Chapter 2326 Corrupt Emperor Zikai Mo Translator Born to be I'm not qualified? Then I won't bother with you. Lai Long. Kill him. Said Long Chen. Boom. Lai Long's giant tail whipped toward the corrupt god ancient tower from another direction, and a dragon claw reached toward the blood-colored spear. Lai Long let out a furious roar, and its terrifying aura caused the world to shake. It was possible to see the laws of the corrupt god cemetery bounce off of it, unable to suppress it. Lai Long grabbed the spear and tried to pull it away. Tian Zizi fought back with his manifestation. One person and one dragon began a competition of strength. Their immense power caused the surrounding space to distort. Black Chi continued to pour into Tian Zizi's back. The entire corrupt god cemetery's power was supporting him. However, as Lai Long unleashed its light, the Black Chi was gradually dispersed. The power supporting Tian Zizi was silently stripped away. Although Lai Long could only control the slightest aura of a sovereign, something that couldn't even count as a hair of their power. Just that little bit when combined with Lai Long's tribulation lightning nature was enough to suppress Tian Zizi here. How can this be? Tian Zizi let out a soundless roar inside his heart. The corrupt god cemetery's power could basically be called unlimited. As a divine son, he had the corrupt god's approval. He was the only one in the corrupt path capable of freely entering the corrupt god cemetery and the only one capable of using the cemetery's power. Here, he was a god. But Lai Long's attacks now contained the aura of a sovereign, weakening the effect of the laws here. Furthermore, Lai Long's attacks were gradually wearing down his connection with the laws of this place, 
reducing his power. He was so furious he felt like his lungs might explode. Work hard, Tian Zizi. I look favorably upon you. With your talent and aptitude, if you train for another 10,000 years, you'll be close to winning. Called out Long Chen from atop Lai Long's head. Long Chen had no intention of interfering. He had left everything to Lai Long. While he silently recovered his own energy, he also wanted to see just how powerful Lai Long was. At the same time, he cried that it was a pity Lai Long hadn't been able to fully absorb that rune from the Sovereign's clone. If that had happened, then without him having to lift a single finger, he would probably be able to sweep through the world. However, when he thought of Sovereign Moli's final words to him, he felt uneasy. Sovereign Moli had said that the clone of him was in the same realm as Long Chen. In other words, that Sovereign clone had only been at the peak of the Life Star realm, but his power had been horrifying. Long Chen hadn't even been close to matching him. That was Long Chen's first defeat within the same realm, and it had been a miserable one at that. Furthermore, he knew that Sovereign Moli hadn't even used his full power. Despite that, he had still been defeated. He also had a question. The Sovereign's karma had manifested as an opponent during his heavenly tribulation. However, the Sovereign had helped him cheat. In other words, a Sovereign was a figure who stood above the heavenly deos. How could people on that level die? It made no sense. Boom. A powerful explosion knocked Long Chen out of his thoughts. The blood-colored spear had actually been torn apart. Its destruction was accompanied by a mournful wail from its item spirit. Lai Long pounced on Tian Zizi, its sharp claws dragging through the air. Every clash with Tian Zizi's giant manifestation caused the world to shake. Long Chen began to shout directions from it up Lai Long's head. At first, Lai Long's fighting style was a bit awkward due to its immense power increase. As he directed it, its movements grew smoother, and its killing power grew more terrifying. As a result, Tian Zizi was roaring furiously. Fuck. Tian Zizi's eyes were about to spurt flames. He had tried several times to retreat and use the corrupt god ancient tower to block Lai Long while he prepared one of his big moves. But Lai Long didn't give him that chance. It stubbornly clung to a clash of physical bodies. Due to Lai Long's aura, a portion of the corrupt god cemetery's laws were stripped away from him, making him unable to unleash his full potential. With Long Chen's directions, its attacks grew sharper and more difficult to block. Four claws repeatedly came at him, along with a dragon tail. Sometimes there would even be a strange attack or a wave of dragon breath that forced Tian Zizi back. He was so furious that he felt like he might cough up blood. I remember someone saying about being the ruler of this world. Something about how no one could beat him. Something about how even the heaven elders of the divine families would be crushed to death like ants if they came here. My memory isn't that good. So do you remember who said that? What kind of heroic figure said such grand words? I'd really like to know. Asked Long Chen. You. Tian Zizi was incredibly infuriated. Even knowing that Long Chen was trying to infuriate him didn't help because he had truly said those words. That slap was incredibly painful. He had already used a secret art so that the outside world could see and hear what he said. He had only said that the Heaven Elders wouldn't be able to leave if they came here, not that he could crush them like ants. Now that the Heaven Elders were hearing such things, that didn't bode well for his future. That's nonsense. I never Tian Zizi calmed himself and tried to explain, but Lai Long unleashed a furious tempest of attacks that left him with no chance to speak. You don't even dare to accept the words you said yourself? I really look down on you more and more. Long Chen shook his head contemptuously Novaloon.com CM bastard. You are forcing me. Tian Zizi finally ran out of patience. The corrupt god ancient tower suddenly vanished. Another giant gate appeared behind Tian Zizi. Long Chen was startled. It was a similar gate to the one they had entered from. But this one had a giant tower shaped notch in it. What? You want to summon the corrupt god's bones to fight for you? All right. Show me just how hard the corrupt god's bones are and whether they're harder than my saber. Long Chen fearlessly looked at the gate. In reality, the reason Long Chen had chased Tian Zizi here was to probe the secrets of the corrupt god cemetery. His curiosity was piqued by this gate, and while he appeared indifferent, he was extremely wary. You blasphemed the corrupt god. You won't have a good end. 
Tian Zizi's face twisted at this blasphemy. Boom. The corrupt god ancient tower appeared inside the giant notch. It fit inside perfectly. The corrupt god ancient tower is the key to open the gate. The experts outside were all startled. The two doors of the gate slowly opened inwards. Red light shone from inside, appearing particularly blinding. Ah, my eyes. One of the ancient family alliance's disciples suddenly covered their eyes. Blood flowed out from between their fingers. Following the first disciples, more and more disciples cried out. Their eyes were bleeding, and there was no way for them to stop it. Even circulating heavenly Tao energy was useless. Disciples below Nether Passage. Don't look. The corrupt god's curse is inside. If you stop now, you can still preserve your eyes, shouted Kujinying. Most of the people that had come were Nether Passage experts, but a few others had been drawn over by the disturbance. Amongst the righteous path in particular, quite a few young disciples had begged their seniors to bring them. There might be no problem with their seniors protecting them at other times, but the light coming from inside that gate was something that made those below the Nether Passage realm feel like their eyes were tearing apart. It seems that the legends are true. The corrupt god cemetery is split into inner and outer regions. The inner region contains the successive generations of the corrupt god's true body. I've heard that only gods are qualified to be buried inside there. However, there was one person that was an exception. That person was Zi Wenchen's ancestor, the corrupt emperor, Zi Kianmo. The old man spoke quietly as he looked at the gate slowly open. Zi Kianmo was the most brilliant figure in the corrupt path's history. Due to him, the Z family had remained the dominant power within the corrupt path, with no one able to shake their position. The regretful thing about the three emperors was that they were born at the wrong time. Every one of them was born in the same generation as a sovereign. In the end, their brilliant light was drowned by the radiance of the sovereigns. They could only become one of the accompanying stars of the bright moon. Despite that, Z Kianmo's name was well known amongst the senior generation. Although he was a follower of the corrupt god and never took the name of emperor, everyone, including the corrupt path and the righteous path, acknowledged that he had the power to stand alongside the Peng Emperor and the Blood Emperor. Blood Chi dispersed from inside the gate, and the red light infected the world. Just looking at the scene, it was possible to smell the scent of endless blood. Even though the martial heaven continent was currently sunny, people felt a chill. Even the Nether Passage experts were starting to feel an ache in their eyes. At the same time, they felt some kind of summons. Their souls were trying to leave their bodies. That was such a frightening feeling that they instantly turned away. Only the corrupt path's disciples continued to stare, their faces full of worship. Even Zi Wentian was amongst them. All the corrupt path's experts knelt toward the gate and kowtowed reverently, chanting some kind of scripture. Finally. The inner gate was fully open, right in front of it was a platform, and there was a person sitting cross-legged on it. Upon seeing that person, Hu Jinying, the old man, Li Xiangxuan, and the others cried out in shock. Zi Kianmo, Chapter 2327 Resolving Grudges Translator Born to be upon seeing that figure, everyone was shocked. He wore blood-colored robes, with shoulder-length hair and sharp cheeks. He looked young. Surprisingly so, his eyes were closed like he was meditating there, and there was a strange sword resting on his knees. Heavens, that's the corrupt emperor, Zi Kianmo, the most mysterious expert of the corrupt path's history. The junior generation of disciples didn't know that much about the corrupt emperor, but of the senior generation, many had seen his image. It was said that the corrupt emperor's talent was so amazing that he had soared like a shooting star. Sweeping through all the experts within the same generation, he reached the peak of the martial path and became an emperor before he was even a hundred years of age. Just as the corrupt emperor was unrivaled and the righteous path was on the verge of destruction, Sovereign Moli was born and rose. Although the corrupt path brought out their full power to stop his growth, Sovereign Moli still rose to the very peak and defeated the corrupt emperor. After that battle, the corrupt emperor had never appeared again. Some people said that he had been so badly wounded by the Sovereign that he had died not long after getting back. Others said he had gone into seclusion to cultivate until he was stronger than the Sovereign, wanting to wipe away that humiliation. In any case, 
the corrupt emperor silently vanished after that battle. Later on, the sovereign had led the martial heaven continent against the invading world's experts, and that brilliance had completely drowned out the corrupt emperor's light, causing him to be forgotten. It was the later descendants who had been looking at the history of the continent that brought up his existence again. They called him the corrupt emperor, as after all, his power qualified him to have that title. Below the five sovereigns, the three emperors were the strongest. As for Shai Changsheng being the stone emperor, that was a title he had bestowed upon himself. Although his cultivation realm had reached that level, compared to the corrupt emperor, Peng emperor, and blood emperor, he was still lacking a little bit of prestige and maturity. That was why the continent did not recognize him as an emperor. Hearing the startled cries of the senior generation, the junior disciples realized who this young man was. When the gate opened and Zikai Anmo's figure appeared, Long Chen didn't have Lai Long continue attacking. He stood in front of the gate, quietly looking at that figure. Although Long Chen didn't recognize the corrupt emperor, he sensed a pressure that felt like the weight of the entire cosmos was pressing down on him. Tian Zizi smashed himself in the chest with his fist, coughing up a mouthful of blood. He grabbed that blood and waved his hand. As a result, a blood rune appeared in the air and then exploded. A resounding sound rang throughout heaven and earth when that blood rune exploded. The young man slowly opened his eyes. Upon seeing that, Hu Jinying and the others felt their hearts stop beating. The corrupt emperor wasn't dead? Zikai Anmo slowly opened his eyes, and strange runes flowed within them. It was only after a long moment that his eyes focused. He looked at Tian Zizi in front of him and then at Long Chen who was outside the gate. He frowned. Why do you want to disturb the successive heroic spirits of the corrupt gods? Demanded Zikai Anmo. His voice contained the unquestionable might of an emperor. Master Kai Anmo, disciple is Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi hastily bowed. He didn't call Zikai Anmo the corrupt emperor because due to their devotion to the corrupt god, they could not call themselves an emperor. No need to say any more. As a divine son, against someone in the same realm, you were chased all the way into the corrupt god cemetery and now wish to disturb the corrupt god's heroic spirits. As a divine son, you are useless. The corrupt emperor's gaze was cold. Master Kai Anmo, it's Long Chen. He. Even as a divine son, Tian Zizi felt great fear and trepidation toward the corrupt emperor. Defeat is defeat. If you can't even admit to such a thing and need to find excuses, it just makes you more useless. The corrupt emperor snorted and ignored Tian Zizi. He focused on Long Chen. Upon seeing the lightning dragon below Long Chen's feet, he nodded. So that's the case. It's the aura of Mo Li. Are you Mo Li's disciple? No. Sovereign Mo Li is my big brother. Long Chen shook his head. Evil Moon was still lazily resting on his shoulder. Even facing the corrupt emperor, Long Chen wasn't affected by his pressure. Perhaps it was due to having faced a sovereign before, but despite the corrupt emperor's frightening pressure, Long Chen felt that it lacked the sovereign's will that caused everyone to submit. What nonsense. Mo Li was born through the entire world's karmic luck. He has no father or mother. How could you be his brother? Snorted the corrupt emperor. Hearing that, Long Chen was startled. He had never heard of such a thing. The experts outside were also shocked. This secret was also something they didn't know. We weren't blood brothers, but we called each other brothers. So what? Is that not allowed? Demanded Long Chen. He was starting to feel irritated by the corrupt emperor's appearance of supremacy. As for Tian Zizi, he was quivering to the side too affected by the corrupt emperor's aura to even say anything. The corrupt emperor looked at Long Chen. He snorted. You really are stupid. Mo Li was born through karmic luck. A whole era's karmic luck was 80% occupied by him alone. I took a tenth, while the rest was split by the remaining heavenly geniuses. The reason I wasn't as strong as him wasn't due to my talent, but simply because he was blessed by the heavens. The only difference between us was karmic luck. It is precisely because of how much karmic luck Mo Li occupied that it affected the function of the rest of the world. The heavenly deos grew chaotic, resulting in more and more karma. As his cultivation base increased, it only grew worse. Anyone who got close to him was destroyed by the heavenly deos. So the successive generations of sovereigns were always solitary figures. 
Those who got close to them were affected by so much karma that they ended up dying. Others could only show their respect for them from a distance. You call him brother? No wonder you charged into the corrupt god cemetery. There must be karma involved that's drawing you to your death. Hearing those words, the Bidang family's experts standing outside the gate became dumbfounded. Bidang Rushuang looked at Nangong Zuaya with wide eyes. That's why? Sovereign Zi Yang noticed that problem back then and so, you let the Nangong family be blamed for so many years? I hereby apologize to the Nangong family on behalf of the Bidang family Bidang Rushuang got on her knees and kowtowed. The grudge of so many years was resolved in an instant. All the Bidang family's people felt guilty. Back in the day, Sovereign Zi Yang had had a romantic relationship with the Bidang family's heavenly genius. But due to the interference from the Nangong family's people, those lovers ended up apart. However, hearing what the corrupt emperor had just said, they immediately linked it to that mystery. At that time, Sovereign Zi Yang had not said much about that matter, resulting in a grudge growing between the Nangong and Bidang families. According to reason, a sovereign wouldn't intentionally cause such a conflict between families, but he never brought up that matter or explained it. Now, they realized the truth. At first, when Sovereign Zi Yang's relationship with the Bidang family's heavenly genius had started, he was still young and not so powerful. He most likely hadn't sensed the effect of his karma. He must have sensed it later and made his decision. As for why he didn't explain, it was definitely related to karma. Perhaps if he had, the two families would have fallen into desperate straits. The Bidang family's experts were ashamed of their actions with Bidang Rushuang kowtowing. However, Nangong Zuayu immediately pulled her up. Bidang Rushuang's voice shuddered. Are you not accepting my apology? In the beginning, the two of them had also been in conflict. But ever since Long Chen appeared, they had started to get along better. Neither of them wished to bring up the conflict between their two families. So they always avoided that topic. With the righteous path in trouble especially, they had to stand on the same side. In private, they even called each other sisters. Nangong Zuaya was not necessarily wrong to refuse to accept such an apology. This misunderstanding had existed between the two families for so many years. The Nangong family had been insulted and humiliated behind their backs for countless years. That kind of injustice could not be wiped away by a kowtow. No, it was the Nangong family that was wrong. A wrong is a wrong. Even if those ancestors did it to shield her, they should have done it the right way. The sovereign was the strongest expert of that time and capable of seeing through the river of time. For him to not mention anything, he must have known that the two of our families would be able to resolve our differences eventually. Now that we have, let's let it go. The burden that our ancestors left behind can be left in the past. We will now use our hands to create our own history Nangong Zuayu held Bidang Rushuang's hand. Hearing that, countless experts felt emotional over Nangong Zuayu's actions. She was truly worthy of being the heavenly genius that the Nangong family had raised. A grudge that had lasted tens of thousands of years was wiped away with just a few words. Just how vast was her heart? That was someone capable of leading people. Someone possessing both boldness and charisma. In the future. If Big Sister needs help, then I will accompany you through Blades or Fire, promised Bidang Rushuang. These words also moved people. After all, her words represented the Bidang family. She also had great daring, having tied the fate of her entire family to the Nangong family. The two of them would advance or retreat together. They were both figures that made the other heavenly geniuses present blush with shame. Just at that moment, Divine light grew within the corrupt god cemetery, drawing everyone's attention back there. The seated corrupt emperor actually began to stand. As he stood up, Long Chen's saber appeared before him. His nerves tightened. Chapter 2328 The Coffins Inside the Inner Cemetery Translator Born to be just as the corrupt emperor stood, the energy of the world condensed into one point and crashed onto Long Chen. It was as though the weight of the entire world was condensed on where Long Chen was standing. He felt a strange energy trying to crush him. However, beneath his feet, Lai Long was completely unaffected. Long Chen realized this was not the power of the loss here but a spiritual pressure that wanted to crush his will. Holding Evil Moon tightly, 
Long Chen's figure was as straight as an iron spear. Even in the face of the corrupt emperor's pressure, he didn't cower. Who cared about a corrupt emperor? Long Chen was someone who called a sovereign brother, and the sovereign was someone who could crush the corrupt emperor. Hmm? The brat can't fight any longer, so the senior is coming out, asked Long Chen lightly. The corrupt emperor shook his head. Even though I am already dead and just a trace of a discarnate soul, you aren't worth me doing anything. You have Moli's aura on you, so I'll treat you as his brother. A lightning house but isn't enough for you to be so arrogant the corrupt emperor turned to Tian Zizi. I will transmit a portion of my techniques to you. If you can kill him, I will pass on my entire inheritance to you. But if you still can't beat him, it means you aren't qualified to continue the corrupt god's will, and I won't save you. The corrupt emperor pressed a finger against Tian Zizi's forehead. The latter's body trembled, and his aura began to transform. Blood-colored runes began shooting out of the cemetery, merging with him. Many thanks, Master Kianmo. Tian Zizi gratefully bowed to the corrupt emperor and then turned to Long Chen with a confident smile. Long Chen, face your death. Tian Zizi's manifestation shook. His aura had changed from before. It now contained a trace of an emperor's aura. With his spear destroyed, he sent a fist smashing toward Long Chen. This punch seemed like it was supported by the entire world. Just you? Give up and have that old ghost come out. Long Chen sneered and Lai Long vanished. His divine ring shuddered as he raised Evil Moon high into the air. Black and white scales appeared on his body. This was the phenomenon from the merging of the Azure Dragon battle armor and the Evil Dragon's power. Before this, the black had been clearly a bit faint in comparison to the white. That was because an evil dragon's power could not compare to the power of the azure dragon. However, today, with Long Chen having advanced to the nether passage realm, another level of the seal locking evil moon had been undone. With both forms of power boosting him, Long Chen's power soared. Lightning burst into existence around evil moon as a giant saber image rose. Long Chen added Li Long's power to evil moon. A resounding dragon row rang out. One that was three voices in one, a lighting dragon, an evil dragon, and an azure dragon. Long Chen's saber crashed down with such power that Tian Zizi's expression changed. Having obtained the support of the corrupt god cemetery and some techniques of the corrupt emperor, he had thought he could crush Long Chen with a wave of his hand. Even the corrupt emperor's pupil shrank when he saw Long Chen's attack. Boom. Tian Zizi screamed as his manifestation was blown apart. Half his body vanished, with half remaining, which was covered in cracks and on the verge of shattering. The corrupt emperor grabbed Tian Zizi, saving his life. If he hadn't, the shock waves would have blown Tian Zizi's crumbling body apart. Although he had said that he wouldn't save him, that had just been a threat to make him use his full power. This is the power of the corrupt emperor? After spouting such crap, you eat it back without saying a word? That is something that even the sovereigns can't accomplish, sneered Long Chen upon seeing the corrupt emperor eat his own words. The corrupt emperor's expression darkened. In his life, he didn't know how many heavenly geniuses he had killed. His life had been full of glorious legends. This was his first time having to eat his own words. After all, Tian Zizi was a divine son, someone chosen by the corrupt god. He couldn't just watch as he was killed. On the other hand, Long Chen's naked insult made killing intent finally appear in his eyes. However, before he could make a move, Long Chen suddenly charged inside the inner gate of the corrupt god cemetery, courting death. Seeing that, the corrupt emperor was stunned and enraged. He immediately slashed the sword on his knees at Long Chen to prevent him from entering. Ha! Huh, if you really had the power from your peak, you would have immediately confined me instead of letting that idiot Tian Zizi try to stop me. You knew from the start that Tian Zizi wasn't a match for me, sneered Long Chen. From the first moment he had seen the corrupt emperor, he had felt things to be off. The corrupt emperor had acted as if Long Chen was nothing, as if he was definitely dead. However, he didn't sense any feeling of mortal danger from him. In other words, the corrupt emperor himself didn't possess the power to kill him. After thinking about it, Long Chen had guessed that he was trying to scare him away. If that was the case, then there was definitely some secret within the tomb. Furthermore, 
This attack the corrupt emperor had launched at Long Chen was launched to the area in front of him. In other words, he just wanted to stop him and didn't have the power to kill him in one blow. Split the heavens 8. Boom. The sword light that the corrupt emperor had summoned in front of him was torn, and Long Chen charged through. Originally, he should have used Evil Moon's divine abilities to get by, but Evil Moon's technique covered a wide area and would have its power dispersed throughout the entire sword light to destroy it all. But all he needed to do was pierce a hole. After all, that was the corrupt emperor. Even if he was just the slightest discarnate soul, Long Chen wasn't sure of crushing his full strength attack. Furthermore, Long Chen had to conserve energy. He had barely recovered to about 50% of his energy, with the smallest price thanks to the barrier piercing effects of Split the Heavens. Long Chen got past the corrupt emperor's barrier and entered the inner region. The experts outside were all stunned to see that Long Chen was able to get by the corrupt emperor. Wasn't it said that the only ones capable of fighting the emperors were sovereigns? However, Elder Long nodded. Long Chen's got gods. Even in the face of sovereigns and emperors, he can muster the will to fight. Yes, others can't even raise their weapons in front of the glory of the sovereigns and emperors. Even if they could manage to summon the will to fight, they wouldn't even be able to unleash half their power. But Long Chen is completely unaffected. Added another heaven elder nodding. With praise, Long Chen charged in, and the blood-colored inner region was lit up by his lightning. He saw one giant stone coffin after another. The corrupt emperor's expression changed. He suddenly pointed a finger. A ray of light shot out, not toward Long Chen but the screen up in the air. Boom. The screen that Tian Zizi had summoned so that others could see what was happening inside exploded. The secrets of the inner region could not be revealed to outsiders. Suddenly. The inner gate slammed shut. The corrupt emperor, Tian Zizi, and Long Chen were locked inside. Long Chen ignored it. He appraised the situation within the inner cemetery. This space wasn't as large as outside. There were 16 giant coffins scattered in every direction, seemingly according to some pattern. It seems that the corrupt god's corpses are here. Long Chen didn't have much time, so he rushed over to the closest coffin. This coffin was like a giant mountain. Standing at the bottom, he grabbed it with both hands and pulled. Get up. Long Chen's arms bulged as he tried to pull up the coffin. It was as heavy as a star, but it slowly began to rise. Bastard, what are you doing? Roared Tian Zizi. What do you think? Have you not heard that bandits never go home empty-handed? I went through all the trouble of coming here. So no matter what I have to get something in return. Don't be so stingy. You have 16 coffins and I'm only taking one. Be happy, shouted Long Chen. You, you, you fucking madman Tian Zizi couldn't help cursing. He had never cursed before, but this was too much. He had heard that Long Chen dared to do anything, but he even dared to take the coffin of a corrupt god? Was that a giant joke? Master Kianmo, Tian Zizi could only turn to the corrupt emperor. However, upon seeing one of his hands in a special seal, he shut his mouth. The giant coffin was really picked up by Long Chen. His arms trembled from the effort. It was unknown just what kind of material it was made of. It was precisely because it wasn't ordinary that he wanted it. He might not recognize the material, but Guo Ran definitely would. Perhaps he could smelt it into some legendary divine material. Get in. Long Chen activated the primal chaos bead. However, just then, the earth shuddered. Only at this moment did he realize that at the other side of the coffin, there was a giant chain connecting it to the core of this region. At the core was another platform. There was someone sitting on top of it. Long Chen barely got a look at that figure when his heart turned icy cold. He shot back. A ray of light shot out from the stone platform, flying right past Long Chen. An icy sensation filled him. He felt like his skin was about to rip apart. Chapter 2329 Lotus Throne Translator Born to be Long Chen narrowly avoided the attack. As a result, it struck the gate and unleashed ripples that spread throughout the cemetery. What is that? Long Chen's expression changed, and another ray of light shot out from a different angle. Unable to avoid this one, he slashed Evil Moon at it. Bang! Long Chen's arm shook and the webbing between his thumb and forefinger split open. Flying back, 
he saw that these lights were coming from below the core platform. It was only at this moment that Long Chen realized there was a giant black lotus suspended in the air above the core region, linking together the 16 coffins. The black lotus had many petals, and every petal had a person embedded into it. Those people had their hands clasped together. Their bodies were like withered corpses. At the base of the lotus were 16 chains connecting to the 16 coffins. It was no wonder he had been unable to take a coffin. At this moment, it was the Black Lotus unleashing rays of light at him. Long Chen glanced toward the corrupt emperor to see him forming seals. So it was you, Long Chen. You're sharp to have been able to realize that I can't fight you in my current state. But you were too careless. Even if I am a discarnate soul. Even if I offered up 99% of my power. Even if the wearing of time has weakened me. I am still the guardian of this cemetery. Killing you is still easy. The Devil Lotus Divine Throne has locked onto you. As it awakens, its power will grow. I only have less than one ten thousandth of my original power, but even if I was at my peak, I would need a large amount of time to stop this lotus. So, you can peacefully face your death, said the corrupt emperor indifferently. As he said, the Black Lotus continued to grow stronger like a wild beast awakening. Its attacks grew sharper and more concentrated. Long Chen dodged seven in a row before his expression changed. That lotus throne made him feel a familiar aura. That aura was something he had sensed from the Nithurgad's throne. Although the aura between the two had fundamental differences, it definitely had enough power to kill him. Its terrifying aura continued to grow. After dodging one attack, Long Chen stamped down on the coffin, surprisingly charging toward the lotus throne. Long Chen's target was the person sitting on the central platform. His back was facing him, so he couldn't see his face. Evil Moon slashed toward him. Boom. A layer of divine light appeared over the person's body just as Long Chen was about to strike him. Evil Moon bounced right off, and a terrifying ripple spread in every direction. Long Chen was struck head on by that ripple. He coughed up blood and cracks appeared on his body. He almost died right there and then horrifying him. Just who was that person? At the same time as Long Chen was shocked, the corrupt emperor's pupil shrank upon seeing this. Just what kind of origin did Long Chen have to possess a physical body that wasn't blasted apart by that counterattack? More and more lights flew toward Long Chen from the Black Lotus. Its attacks grew stronger and faster. If struck by any one of them, there was a chance he might be instantly dead. Fuck. What a scam. It seems I can't get anything good today. Well, I'll treat it as a scouting mission and wait for when I come with Mo Nian. Long Chen used the celestial lightning body blink to dodge. As the lotus awakened, its power began to compress the space around him. Any longer and he would no longer be able to dodge. Long Chen suddenly unleashed a slash at the corrupt emperor and Tian Zizi. The corrupt emperor shook his head. Although my current state is weak, it's not so weak that you can kill me. The corrupt emperor pointed a finger, and a protective light appeared around him and Tian Zizi. Layers of runes stacked up within the light. Long Chen's saber merely caused the barrier to quiver once. All his power was instantly sucked away by it. Long Chen, in front of Master Kai Anmo, you are just an ant. Even all your power isn't enough to harm a single hair of his. Taunted Tian Zizi. Idiot. Why would I care about the hair of a dead person? Sneered Long Chen. He took out a strange object and suddenly thrust it forward. That object was the door knocker from the gates of hell. Holding the ring, he smashed the knocker forward. The corrupt emperor's expression changed when he recognized the carving of the knocker. He couldn't help exclaiming, A Purgatory Yama Spirit. Purgatory Yama Spirits were monsters that protected purgatory. It was also known as the three-headed purgatory dog. However, its other heads were located below its neck and were normally just two marks. Only when it fought would it manifest its three heads. Those three heads represented three different laws. Heaven, Earth, and Man. Long Chen had no idea about that. All he knew was that something from the gates of hell would definitely be good at warding off evil. He still didn't know that those two knockers were part of the seal that had been suppressing a terrifying divine beast. Even the corrupt emperor had only heard of purgatory yama spirits and had no idea about the origin of the door knockers. All he knew was that there was no way such a thing could exist on the martial heaven continent. 
Boom. The barrier shattered instantly. The effect was even better than Long Chen had expected. The corrupt emperor retreated several steps. His body seemed to fade slightly. Tian Zizi was horrified. He had absolute confidence in the corrupt emperor. So it was unimaginable to him for Long Chen to break the corrupt emperor's defenses. My target is you. Long Chen slashed his saber at Tian Zizi. The corrupt emperor slashed his sword, blocking Long Chen's saber. Long Chen snorted and sent a foot smashing into Tian Zizi's neck. At the same time, he smashed the knocker at the corrupt emperor, who surprisingly used his hilt to block the attack. This time, there was no amazing effect. Long Chen's arm shuddered, and the knocker almost flew out of his grasp. Starting, Long Chen retreated, swinging Evil Moon in defense. As for the corrupt emperor, he seemed to have predicted how easily he could block the knocker, and his sword turned, slicing toward Long Chen's waist. In the end, an emperor was an emperor. Even if he had less than one ten thousandth of his original power, he still had his combat experience. He combined offense and defense into one, and despite Long Chen clearly managing to avoid the sword, it was like a viper spitting poison. A flicker of light extended out of it, slicing open Long Chen's waist. Long Chen was startled. If it weren't for his dragon scales, he would have been cut in two. This was an existence that could challenge sovereigns. Long Chen shot back, avoiding the next two attacks from the Black Lotus. Watch out, shouted the corrupt emperor. He vanished from his original location. Tian Zizi suddenly realized that he was flying in an arc, while Long Chen was shooting through the air. They were going to intersect. Long Chen had no intention of killing the corrupt emperor. Although it was a nice thought, it wasn't possible. The corrupt emperor wasn't that weak even in his weakened state. He was an apex existence. Even just a trace of his discarnate soul was extremely dangerous. It wasn't worth it for Long Chen to risk his life on such a thing. From the start, his target had been Tian Zizi. Even though he had been injured by the corrupt emperor just now, things were still going according to plan. Tian Zizi roared and summoned his final dregs of energy to punch at Long Chen. As for Long Chen, he swung his hand naturally, slapping him in the face. Tian Zizi had less than half the combat potential of his peak state and was no match for Long Chen. As a result, he spun through the air from the slap, and Long Chen grabbed his leg. He switched out Devil Moon for the knocker again and smashed it at the gate. Boom. The gate was incredibly tough. But this unremarkable knocker still smashed a hole into it. So that's how it works. Long Chen was now sure that the knocker had its own laws. And those laws had a terrifying destructive aspect to them. However, they were useless against attacks that didn't contain their own laws. The corrupt emperor's previous attack was the best proof. Without hesitation, Long Chen flew through. Dragging Tian Zizi with him. A dragon cry rang out and lightning filled the outer cemetery. Within this sea of lightning, Long Chen could essentially teleport. With a single step, he arrived at the outer gate. One more step and he could leave the corrupt god cemetery. Suddenly, a flash of sword light appeared along with a cry. Long Chen's hand lightened as he stepped through the gate. His vision darkened and then brightened once more as he appeared outside the corrupt god cemetery. He looked back to check on Tian Zizi. He found that he was gone, and he was just holding a bloody leg. There were countless experts in front of the gate. When Long Chen had charged into the inner gate, the corrupt emperor had cut off their vision. Just as the corrupt experts were smiling at Long Chen's misfortune, Long Chen came out alive and well. Furthermore, he was holding a leg that caused a wave of shock as people recognized it as Tian Zizi's. Chapter 2330 Judgment Day for the Kunpen Race Translator Born to be Fuck That Bastard Looking at the Leg Long Chen raged and flung it into the air. It then exploded into bloody mist. Even now, he didn't know how the corrupt emperor had managed to do this. Everything had been calculated perfectly by him. In the end, he had even been willing to unleash all of Lai Long's power to summon a lightning domain to reach the outer gate in an instant, just to capture Tian Zizi alive. But the corrupt emperor had still managed to snatch Tian Zizi away. Long Chen's expression was ugly at having been beaten by a discarnate soul of the corrupt emperor. However, on the other hand, everyone was stunned by his reaction. They didn't know what had just happened inside. 
The image had been cut off just as Long Chen charged into the inner region despite the corrupt emperor trying to stop him, and then he came out holding Tian Zizi's leg. Even Elder Long and the others were shocked. In front of the corrupt emperor, he had still managed to cut off Tian Zizi's leg? He had practically ignored the existence of the corrupt emperor. Long Chen suddenly turned and charged back toward the gate, causing everyone to jump. Bang! The runes on the gate made Long Chen bounce back. The corrupt god cemetery had been closed from the inside, and no one else could enter. Long Chen almost coughed up blood from the impact. After all the battles, his body had reached its limit. The corrupt emperor's last attack, which had sliced through his waist, contained its own power that was erasing his life energy. Even the primal chaos space's life energy was unable to heal the wound, only able to temporarily suppress it. Also, the impact from being repelled from the gate had caused it to tear open again. He really needed to find a place to heal. Long Chen had no choice but to give up on charging back in. He suddenly turned to the corrupt path's experts. His fury instantly soared. Even if he couldn't kill the big ones, killing some extras was good too. Warriors of the Dragonblood Legion, slaughter the corrupt path's people, shouted Long Chen. He was the first to charge forward despite being covered in blood and having a wound on his waist. His saber slammed down toward Zi Wentian and the others. Over 10,000 swords came out of their sheaths at the same time. With Long Chen's orders, the Dragonblood warriors no longer cared about the Heaven Elders from the Divine Families. They charged. HMPH. With the Divine Families present, you still dare to be wild, demanded Yi Yeo Chen angrily. However, he found that Long Chen and the rest of the Dragonblood Legion were completely ignoring him. Bastards. You're asking for it. Yi Yeo Chen furiously prepared to unleash an attack when Elder Long appeared in front of him. Elder Yi. This was started by Yi Ben Chang. As a fellow member of the Yi family, it wouldn't be appropriate for you to interfere. What are you saying? Yi Yeo Chen's face was frighteningly gloomy. You should leave things here to me. If you're busy, you can leave first said Elder Long lightly. You, Yi Yeo Chen pointed at Elder Long, shuddering with fury, that was clearly telling him to scram. All right, fine, we'll see who wins in the future. Yi Yeo Chen took a single step, vanishing from sight. Long Chen, count yourself tough this time, but my corrupt path's foundation isn't something you can imagine. Just wait, your nightmare will soon descend. Zi Wentian sneered. The void behind him suddenly split open and formed a giant vortex that sucked in the corrupt path's experts. They vanished, leaving behind only Zi Wenchen's voice echoing through the air. Long Chen and the others pounced on empty air. The corrupt path had managed to run. Suddenly, a bout of dizziness made him feel like the world was spinning. Meng Chi caught Long Chen as he collapsed. Long Chen, are you alright? Chu Yao immediately came over to help him recover. She found that there was extensive damage to his meridians. They had almost reached the point of crumbling, and he could no longer fight. Long Chen was also aware of his condition, but he had to act tough until the end. If the corrupt path has run, then fine. Exterminate the Kunpeng race. Long Chen took a deep breath. The corrupt path and the righteous path's enmity was something that stretched back tens of thousands of years. He wasn't in a rush to get revenge on them. If they had run, then the Dragonblood Legion could start with the Xuan Beasts. Boss, you rest. Leave this to your brothers. Guo Ran saw how pale he was and led the charge against the Kunpeng race. Seeing the Dragonblood Legion charging over so furiously, Peng Wanli and the others' expressions changed. He shouted, Seniors of the Divine Families, are you going to allow the Dragonblood Legion to slaughter the innocent so indiscriminately all things have karma? Even during the time of the Heavenly Divine Writ, the Xuan Beasts launched a sneak attack on the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. You've already ignored our rules. The bitter seed you planted results in the bitter fruit you reap. Even if it causes tears, you still have to eat it. Sorry, but the divine families are powerless to interfere, said Elder Long Novaloon.com upon hearing that. Pen Wanli's heart dropped. He suddenly turned to Pill Valley to see Yu Ziaoyan not looking at him. He then looked at Di Long of the Ancient Family Alliance and saw that his eyes were closed in meditation as if he was unrelated to this matter. The most unacceptable thing to him though was that even Long Junkang of the Ancient Races had, 
at some point, brought the ancient race's experts away to retain a respectful distance from the Xuan beasts. Even the ancient race's loyalty didn't stretch this far. Kill. The Dragonblood Legion fell upon them. Guo Ran was the first to charge at Pen Wanli. However, before he could attack, a giant bone club came smashing down at Pen Wanli. Wild's furious row rang out. This one's mine. Wild's furious attack was met with Pen Wanli's full power defense, but he still hacked up blood. He was no Yi Yeochen, who was capable of using his hand to receive Wild's attack. Pen Wanli was injured in just one blow. Stars spun in his vision. This one attack from Wild caused the morale of the Xuan beasts to crumble. Kill. The Dragonblood Warriors and the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Races experts attacked. Their enmity with the Kanpen race could no longer be resolved by any other means. The martyrs that had died to the Kanpen race during these countless years would also not permit such a thing. Those who didn't participate in the attack against the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race should get away now. Today, the Dragonblood Legion and the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race are getting vengeance. And our only target is the Kanpen race, announced Long Chen. The hesitating experts of the Xuan beasts who were undecided about running or not instantly fled like the wind. The Kanpen race's conflict with the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race has nothing to do with our shadow devil leopard race, announced one of the leaders of the Xuan beasts as he led his people away from the battlefield. It has nothing to do with our wind wolf race. It has nothing to do with our blood ape race. It has nothing to do with our Scarlet Python race. In just a moment, the Xuan beasts still standing behind the Kanpen race had left due to Long Chen's words. The Xuan beasts were arrogant, but they weren't so stupid as to not understand their current position. The divine families had chosen to look on without lifting a finger. Pill Valley, the ancient family alliance, the ancient races, all their allies had chosen to ignore their plight. The ones that they were facing were the Dragonblood Legion, the Martial Heaven Continent's number one Legion, the ones who had defeated even the Heavenly Dragon Legion, that was a killing Legion that slaughtered their enemies without blinking. Although the Xuan beasts had always had a hostile relationship with Long Chen, they all knew his character. He wouldn't go back on his word and attack them. As a result, the Xuan beasts collapsed from the inside. In the end, the only ones staying with the Kanpen race were the Nine Heavens Phoenix race and a few other loyal followers. Those were the races that had slaughtered countless experts of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race in the past. Their hands were covered in their blood. Even if they surrendered, it would be useless. Pen Wanli managed to block three of Wild's attacks. On the fourth, his spear was knocked out of his hands, and the back of his head was smashed apart by Wild's club. His Yuan spirit shot out trying to flee, but it was swallowed by a giant mouth. It was Cloud. After swallowing Pen Wanli's Yuan spirit, she let out a resounding cry, one that contained grief and sorrow for the fallen members of her race. With Pen Wanli dead, the grudge of countless years was finally settled, and all the accumulated years of resentment were unleashed now. The other members of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing race echoed her cry. Kill. With Pen Wanli dead, the Kanpen race, the Nine Heavens Phoenix race, and the remaining experts of their side were unable to stop the Dragonblood Legion. They fled in every direction. A rain of blood followed as the Dragonblood Warriors and the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow races experts chased them down. Having lost their will to fight, the Xuan beasts were unable to counterattack. As Long Chen watched the Dragonblood Legion slaughter them, he didn't say a word. There was no need to say anything about mercy or letting off cornered enemies. There was no compassion to be had. This kind of enmity was so deep it had sunk into their bones and even their souls. This kind of enmity could only be settled when one side was destroyed. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race couldn't possibly let off the Kanpen race or their loyal followers. Just like how the Kanpen race and the others had never had mercy when they were hunting down the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, the human race might be one to easily forget the past, but the Xuan beasts were different. This kind of enmity was something that continued through their bloodlines. There was no way for them to forget it. Not good. Suddenly, Elder Long and the other heaven elders' expressions changed. A tablet on each of their waists was flashing rapidly. 
the seven of them vanished at the same time. Chapter 2331 and known to be alive or dead translator. Born to be Elderlong and the other's disappearance gave everyone else a bad feeling. Suddenly, Hu Jinying let out a startled cry as her own tablet began flashing. When she checked it, her expression completely changed. Without a guard on the yin-yang world, the blood race has invaded the martial heaven continent what all the various experts' expressions sank. If the blood race managed to get onto the continent, countless people would be killed, and the situation would take an even worse turn in the future. That was because after killing people from the martial heaven continent, the blood race would steal their root chi and grow even stronger. We have to get over there. The old man grabbed Long Chen and dragged him off. In Long Chen's current state, he was afraid of Pill Valley and the others trying to kill him. Wild, eat later, shouted Long Chen. Wild was munching on a wing, even eating the feathers. It was a bloody sight. Hearing Long Chen's command, Wild put away Pen Wanli's corpse and came rushing over. Long Chen, are you all right? You were really vicious this time. I thought you were doomed several times. The old man had a hand on Long Chen's shoulder. His spiritual Yuan gently entered his body to help him heal. He, you don't need to worry about me. I'm always confident in what I do. You don't need to waste the effort right now. Due to my cultivation technique, your spiritual Yuan can't help me heal, said Long Chen. Having entered the Nether Passage realm, his body essentially contained its own cosmos. His 108,000 astral spaces were fully connected with his six stars. They had their own ability to help him recover. As for the old man's spiritual Yuan, it was true that Long Chen could absorb it, but it was like a bucket of water on a burning cart in his current condition. It wasn't enough for anything. Long Chen's divine ring slowly revolved as he absorbed energy from heaven and earth. His astral spaces were slowly recovering. Having endured Sovereign Moli's attacks, they had reached the verge of collapse. Later on, he had absorbed the heavenly Darun and successfully advanced to the Nether Passage realm, giving him control of life and death energy. But his astral spaces had not yet had a chance to recover. With the battle finally over, he quickly absorbed energy. Once his 108,000 astral spaces were recovered, they could provide him with practically limitless energy. Cloud came flying over with Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, and Dong Mingyu on her back. What happened? asked Meng Qi. They had received the news and came rushing over with Cloud, while the others were slaughtering the leftovers of the Kunpeng race. It's a good thing you came. We have to hurry over to the Yun Yang world, said Long Chen. He, Hu Jinying, the old man, Li Xiangxuan and some of the seniors of the Martial Heaven Alliance jumped onto Cloud's back. Cloud flapped her wings, and the void twisted. They shot through the air, the light twisting around them due to how fast they were going. They couldn't even see the outside world clearly. The Martial Heaven Alliance's seniors sighed in amazement. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's reputation for being number one in speed was not unearned. The void suddenly untwisted, and they saw the world around them. In just a few breaths time, they had reached the entrance to the yin-yang world. However, they saw that this area was a complete mess. The earth had been torn asunder, with lava still bursting out of the ground. A bloody scent hung in the air. The sky was dusky with black and white ripples still clashing. This was the result of life and death energy. This is the result of fourth step nether passage experts going all out. It seems that Elder Long and the others have taken action, said Hu Jinying. The aura of the Sovereign Seal has completely vanished. The blood race unleashed a full power assault to exhaust its final shred of power. We were tricked by the blood race. They pretended to seem weak, as if the Martial Heaven Continent had an advantage over them. By doing so, they made us overconfident. The moment we relaxed, they took advantage to break through our defenses. But why are they all gone? If the Sovereign Seal is broken. A giant army of them should have charged through already. But I don't see or sense any of them. Noticed Li Xiangxuan. We must have been too late. The battle's already over. So quickly. Long Chen didn't feel that this was possible. They had arrived in just a moment. So how could the blood race's army already be gone? This battlefield is strange. Li Xiangxuan examined the surroundings and shook his head. The earth quivered slightly. 
An explosive sound came from an extremely great distance. That direction isn't it Devil Spirit Mountain. Long Chen suddenly had a bad feeling. He jumped back onto Cloud's back. Let's go. They rushed over to Devil Spirit Mountain, only to see Elder Long and another Heaven Elder staring gloomily at the Sovereign Seal in front of them. The Sovereign Seal was now infected by black blood. Fiendish runes flowed on top of it. When they arrived, Elder Long sighed. We were careless. 37 Peak Nether Passage experts have joined forces to destroy the Sovereign Seal. They even left a demonic blood curse on it, corroding it. Devil Spirit Mountain's Sovereign Seal should have lasted for years. But now, it probably won't be long before it breaks apart. This is adding to the calamity which has struck the continent. Kujian Ying shook her head dismally. Elder Long said, it's worse than that. Do you not see that there are only seven corpses of the blood race that we killed here? Only then did Long Chen and the others notice the corpses. They were wrapped in white and black chains. Their auras were frightening, but they were already dead. Two against seven. They had annihilated their opponents. That meant that the power of Elder Long and the other Heaven Elders had to be shocking. Although we killed them, they achieved their goal. They were just sacrificial pawns, sighed the other Heaven Elder. You mean, the others? Long Chen stared. Elder Long nodded. Yes, they split into three with the others going to the ancient battlefield and resentful death city. Just at that moment, the two Heaven Elders tablets flashed again. They exchanged a glance and couldn't help sighing. Clearly, the same thing had befallen those two places as well. The Heaven Elder waved his hand, gathering the corpses of the Blood Race. Elder Long said, Things are serious now. The Blood Race has always been brainless before, but they actually came up with such a scheme, catching us off guard. We'll need to discuss this with the Lord Venerate. As for the reward for you from the Divine Families, you don't need to worry about it. Rest. The true Dark Era is about to come. This might be your final chance to breathe. Cherish it well. Elder Long nodded to Kujian Ying and the others before leaving with the other Heaven Elder. The Dragonblood Legion had returned from seclusion. The Kunpeng race's ancestral lands had been destroyed by Heavenly Tribulation. A heavenly tribulation had manifested a sovereign. Long Chen had killed Kun Pengzi, charged into the corrupt god cemetery, cut off Tian Zizi's leg, and exterminated the Kunpeng race. Every single one of these matters was enough to shake the martial heaven continent and should have been the most popular gossip for a long time. However, when news about the sovereign seals around Devil Spirit Mountain, the ancient battlefield, and resentful death city spread, no one was in the mood to chat. They all knew that the true tribulation was about to come. When the terrifying races from Devil Spirit Mountain, the ancient battlefield, and resentful Death City were added to the blood race of the Yun Yang world, how could the continent survive? Every time the Dark Eras had come, even with sovereigns present, only a tenth of the continent's experts survived. Most importantly, during those eras with the sovereigns, they had only been against one invading race at a time. After driving them back, they sealed the entrances to those worlds, preserving the continent's safety. Now though, the Yun Yang world, the Devil Spirit Mountain, the ancient battlefield, and the mythic resentful Death City seals had all been broken. Once the races from the other side attacked, would there still be any hope for the continent? People felt like the world had lost its color. Past tribulations had had sovereigns to protect them, but now there wasn't a single person who possessed the disposition of a sovereign. None of the heavenly geniuses of the world met the criteria to be a sovereign after all this time, meaning it was very likely that there would be no sovereign in this era. A dark era with no sovereign signified the end of the continent. Some cultivators had lost their drive to get stronger. What was the point? With a sovereign present, the past tribulations had still resulted in only a tenth of the continent's experts surviving. Now, four worlds were about to attack on an unprecedented scale. Unless four sovereigns appeared at once, there was no chance the continent could survive. Their only hope rested on the shoulders of the divine families. But even that hope was extremely dismal. Could the divine families be even stronger than the sovereigns? That didn't seem likely. However, as the rest of the continent's people despaired, the Martial Heaven Alliance remained cool-headed. Others were afraid because they had nothing to rely on, but they had Long Chen, 
Long Chen had advanced to the Nether Passage realm and crushed three peak heavenly geniuses to the point that one was killed, one fled, and one had suffered an amputation. He had even fought a sovereign and the corrupt emperor. Even in the youth of the sovereigns, they probably hadn't had such achievements. Long Chen was viewed as the hope of the righteous path, unifying them to an even greater degree. After three days, Long Chen recovered 50% of his combat power. His astral spaces had fully recovered, but the rest of his body would need at least 10 more days. This battle had left behind quite a few hidden wounds in his body that were taking a particularly long time to heal. Boss, a disciple from Mo Gate has arrived, reported a dragon blood warrior. Long Chen had the disciple brought in. How is that little fellow Mo Nian? asked Long Chen. My family's young master, he has yet to successfully advance to Nether Passage. It's unknown whether he's alive or dead, said that disciple, his eyes red. Long Chen's expression instantly changed. Chapter 2332 The Killing God's True Face Translator Born to be you don't know if he's alive or dead. Long Chen's heart shook. What exactly is going on? The disciple from Mo Gate said. The young master has yet to come out of seclusion from attacking the Nether Passage realm. His body remains in a quasi-dead state. What about his soul stone? The soul stone is still fine. Hearing that the soul stone was fine, Long Chen relaxed slightly. That meant that Mo Nian hadn't failed. It was just that even after all this time, he had yet to pass. The family had wished to inform you of this. It wasn't that the young master didn't want to help you this time, said the disciple. Long Chen shook his head. It seemed that the current family head of the Mo family was not Mo Nian's grandfather. Otherwise, he wouldn't say such a thing. Long Chen knew that Mo Nian would have his own reasons since he hadn't shown up. He wouldn't go thinking such petty things. However, it also didn't seem that Long Chen would be able to help him. Me and Kang Gyu had said that the reason they had entered her netherworld was because she had set it up that way. She had meddled with the laws. The only ones from the martial heaven continent that had entered the netherworld that me and Kang Gyu administered were the Dragonblood Legion. This was why they hadn't encountered anyone else from the marital heaven continent inside the netherworld. Right now, he couldn't even send a message to me and Kang Gyu. Even if he did return to the netherworld, he wouldn't necessarily enter her territory. Me and Kang Gyu had said that there were as many netherworlds as there were stars in the sky. She was only in charge of one. The reason he was able to be brought over to her world was because of the karma between them due to their past relationship. However, Mo Nian wasn't in the area that me and Kang Gyu administered. She wouldn't be able to investigate even if Long Chen could send word. Right now, the only one who could help Mo Nian was Mo Nian himself. Long Chen comforted the disciple, telling him that Mo Nian had definitely encountered a problem, but the fact that he was still alive meant that he was currently breaking out of that crisis. Furthermore, Long Chen's intuition was telling him that Mo Nian wouldn't die so easily. The disciple left and Dong Mingyu came in. The two of them exchanged a smile. Long Chen held Dong Mingyu's hand and they walked out together. Boom. A giant set of gates were blasted apart by a punch. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu walked through. They had just entered when space twisted and one figure after another appeared. Long Chen. Dong Mingyu. The leader of those people was an old man whose heart sank upon seeing the two of them. That old man was the Bloodkill Hall's master, Zhang Ziyang, and this place was the headquarters of the Bloodkill Hall. It was completely secret, but as the Divine Daughter, the Bloodkill Hall's secret headquarters was no secret to Dong Mingyu. What are you doing? demanded Zhang Ziyang. Theoretically, I should be coming here today to destroy your Bloodkill Hall and kill all of you. But Mingyu did come from the Bloodkill Hall, and her cultivation comes from you. So don't worry, I won't kill you today. Mingyu came to pay her respects to the Killing God to settle things with him. In the future, the Bloodkill Hall will have nothing to do with us, said Long Chen indifferently. Zhang Ziyang was a third step Nether Passage expert. His assassination arts would give even a fourth step Nether Passage expert a headache. But Long Chen didn't view him as a threat. HMPH, a traitor of the killing god has the face to return and pay respects to him. A voice rang out in the air. Dong Mingyu pointed a single finger. The void twisted, and a figure came falling down. 
It was a very young disciple. His head had been pierced, and his sneer still hung on his face. Even before his death, he hadn't sensed the danger. Those who don't wish to die should leave. Those who wish to die can stay, said Dong Mingyu. She was even more direct than Long Chen. After that, she pulled Long Chen in. You, Zhang Ziyang's expression changed. But in the face of the divine daughter Dong Mingyu who had advanced to the Nether Passage realm, even he didn't have the courage to stop her. They were both assassins, but she had the power of the killing god. That put a sense of extreme pressure on him. As for that unlucky fellow she had just killed, it was a warning. That attack had contained god power. An assassin who lived on the edge of a knife was extremely sensitive to any danger. But Dong Mingyu had killed that person without him sensing anything. That was due to the god energy of the killing god, which was especially effective against the followers of the killing god. That was the absolute authority bestowed to a divine daughter. The most inexplicable thing to Zhang Ziyang was that despite betraying the killing god, the killing god hadn't unleashed any divine punishment on her and even allowed her to retain his god energy. In the end, Zhang Ziyang stepped back, opening a path for her. You can enter, but Long Chen I'll go wherever I want to. If you have the gods, then come and try to stop me. It just so happens that you'll give me an excuse to wipe the blood kill hall out of existence, snorted Long Chen. Long Chen very much disliked the blood kill hall, viewing them as even worse than the professional assassins within the Phoenix Cry Empire. At least those assassins had some morals. They had three no's, no killing the pregnant, the ill, or children. However, the ones known as the Martial Heaven Continent's number one assassins organization had no taboos. For money, they could do anything. As long as they were paid, they didn't care who they killed. Back then, they had sent Dong Mingyu as a three or four year old child to assassinate Long Chen, drawing his greatest wrath. If it weren't for Dong Mingyu, he would be destroying the Blood Kill Hall today. It was Dong Mingyu who wished for Long Chen to not do that today. No matter how it was put, she came from the Blood Kill Hall. The reason she was with Long Chen now was because of them. Perhaps that was a kind of fate. The Blood Kill Hall had done so much evil and were now doomed. This could be considered their own karma. It probably wouldn't be long before they fully vanished from this world. So Long Chen didn't mind letting them off as a favor to Dong Mingyu. However, if they really wanted to die and further provoked him, then he wouldn't mind killing more of them. Regretfully, the Blood Kill Hall's people weren't as tough as he had hoped. After the first was killed by Dong Mingyu, the others shut their mouths. Dong Mingyu led the way through a large palace and they arrived at an underground passageway. At the end of the path, they found a small transportation formation. Who goes there? The voices of four old men rang through the air when they arrived. Dong Mingyu waved her hand, and four heads flew through the air. Nonchalantly, she stepped onto the transportation formation with Long Chen, saying, These black and white robed fellows are the wildly fanatic elders, the most loyal dogs of the killing god. They aren't under the administration of the Hall Master and even have the authority to replace the Hall Master with a new one if they wished to. They've been brainwashed to the point that anything they view as blasphemy to the killing god would result in immediate death. Even if it was the current Hall Master, brainwashing really is amazing. It turns people into bigoted madmen. Long Chen shook his head. The transportation formation activated, and they arrived in a dark and gloomy world. This was most likely somewhere underground. There was a long passageway, with dark red flames flickering along the walls. Long Chen examined the stone walls. There were some ancient carvings left there. Within them, he saw a man holding a blade in front of many experts. Sometimes his blade stabbed right through their foreheads, while sometimes it cut through their throats. Sometimes he was dragging their heads. This is the killing god, asked Long Chen. Yes. But the killing god has been beautified in those carvings, said Dong Mingyu, her expression a bit odd. Beautified the two of them quickly reached the end of the passageway. At the end was another palace, one that was mostly empty. There was simply a throne with an old man on it. His white hair was balding at the center, and he was heavy set. He is also the killing god, asked Long Chen with some disbelief. Yes, Dong Mingyu nodded. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. How did a lecherous fatty end up being a handsome young man in those carvings? 
They say that this sculpture is of the moment the killing god condensed his Tao fruit. As for the murals and other statues, they're from when he was young. Dong Mingyu shrugged. And people believe that nonsense? They don't even look like the same person, said Long Chen speechlessly. He, that's what I've always thought too. But they said that when the killing god was young, he was handsome enough to bewitch others. Later he had the fortune to condense a god fruit, resulting in his looks becoming like this as a warning to others. However, those who can see this sculpture must have made great contributions to the killing god. So only a few people have seen it, said Dong Mingyu. So the killing god is actually a lecherous fatty but has been beautified to such an extent by those bootlickers. Aren't they just lying to themselves? Long Chen shook his head. Who dares to make a racket in the killing god's palace? Long Chen and Dong Mingyu had barely entered the palace when a furious shout came from within. Inside, they saw eight elders wearing black and white robes glaring at them. They held staves in their hands. Kneel and receive forty whips for your disrespect to the killing god. The first elder was slapped in the face before he could finish speaking. He spun through the air as Long Chen sneered. Did that wake you up? Who dares to talk big to Master Long? Chapter 2333 Seizing the Divine Rune Translator Born to be perhaps these old men had never encountered someone as formidable as Long Chen in their lives. Long Chen sent that old man flying back. These old men had been looking down on them even though they recognized Dong Mingyu as the divine daughter. These were the wild fanatic elders of the killing god. And even if it was a divine daughter who blasphemed the god, they would still punish her. However, these elders were essentially cut off from everything happening in the outside world, with their only focus being waiting upon the killing god. Hence, they hadn't even paid any attention to Dong Mingyu's betrayal of the killing god. In their eyes, Dong Mingyu was the child of the god, and after a lecture on her naughtiness, she would return to the righteous path of the god's guidance. That was why their first thought upon seeing Dong Mingyu was that she had come to repent and cleanse herself of her sins in front of the killing god. Long Chen's slap woke them up from that dream. Dong Mingyu hadn't come to repent. She had even brought a fighter with her. If you don't want to die, then scram to the side, sneered Long Chen. These elders were second-step nether passage experts. Long Chen could essentially ignore them. This is a blasphemy against the god. You've insulted those who serve the god. You will. Dong Mingyu waved her dagger, and those elders were instantly killed even as they brandished their staves against them. I told you that they're crazy. There's no way to speak to them like normal people, said Dong Mingyu. With her understanding of these elders, she knew that there was no need to waste the effort of talking to them. Killing them was their only choice. She walked over to the killing god statue, circling around it as if looking for something. What is it? Asked Long Chen. Big sister Yu Ian said that Imputa has an extremely powerful set of assassination techniques called the Heavenly Desolation Extinction Art. However, that technique was not in the inheritance I received. Big Sister Yu Ian said that my contributions to the killing god weren't great enough to receive it. Hence, I came to take it. Even Big Sister Yu Ian thinks that it's important. So I have to obtain it. He, I found it. Suddenly, Dong Mingyu found a dark red speck of light on the killing god's forehead. That speck of light was very well concealed. If she hadn't pointed it out, Long Chen wouldn't have noticed it. However, following the first one, he suddenly realized that there were dozens of those red spots of light throughout the statue. Dong Mingyu said that these specks represented one inheritance from the god. They were split into different grades. The initial grade could be obtained by anyone who had spent enough time in the blood kill hall and done their work. Normally, around 80 years of service would automatically qualify someone for it, and there was no need to come here. Any of the statues in the other strongholds could borrow the power of this place to transmit that divine blessing. The middle grade inheritances had a portion that required coming here to the main statue, but some of them could still be transmitted through the other strongholds. Most members of the Bloodkill Hall would never qualify for such a thing. It was usually just the Hall Masters who could receive such a thing. As for the high grade inheritances, only the Divine Daughter was qualified. However, even she hadn't received this inheritance, which meant it was of an even higher level, an apex inheritance. Len Yuian had wanted to give her something in the netherworld, 
but she was a divine daughter, and if she had transmitted anything to her, it would have silently invoked karma. However, she knew of Imputa's heavenly desolation extinction art and where she could find it herself. What are you supposed to do with this thing? Asked Long Chen. Big sister Yuan said that the inheritance won't be given to me, so I have to snatch it myself, said Dong Mingyu. Can you do it? Asked Long Chen. This was a god's inheritance. It could easily harm or even kill her. I definitely won't be able to do it. But isn't there still you? Dong Mingyu giggled. Me? I don't know anything about this. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't know anything about this inheritance. Here, you protect me from the back. Press your head against mine. Dong Mingyu held his hand and he held her waist from behind. The two of them slowly rose into the air until they were on the same level as the killing god's head. Dong Mingyu pressed a finger against the red speck of light. The two of their souls were connected by a bridge. God energy surged into Dong Mingyu's head and also Long Chen's head. Long Chen's head buzzed. He felt like he had entered another world. In this world, countless runes were flickering. Every one of these runes was filled with God energy. He knew that they were inheritances. At the very top of these countless runes was a beautiful rune whose light eclipsed all the others. Big Brother Long Chen. That's the apex inheritance. I want it. Dong Mingyu pointed. All right. Since Len Yuan told us to come here, it should be possible. You should try it, said Long Chen. Dong Mingyu formed hand seals. Threads of God energy shot out of her and toward the rune. However, the rune incinerated her threads. Those threads were God energy that belonged to the killing God. But even that wasn't enough to shake this rune. Again, Long Chen sent his spiritual strength into her body, merging their powers. Together, they stretched toward the golden rune. Just like last time, her god energy was incinerated. Long Chen also felt a burst of pain as if he had been burned. Did I give you too much face? Long Chen snorted and his spiritual strength burst forth, forming its own net. Get in here. Long Chen shouted and pulled with his spiritual strength. The giant rune began to shake and move toward them. It's working. Dong Mingyu was delighted, but her expression quickly changed. A sharp pain suddenly appeared in her soul. As the rune got closer, a terrifying will also followed. Her soul was being shaken so badly that it felt like it would collapse. Just that moment, the light from that rune erupted, and within the divine light appeared a pair of eyes. Dong Mingyu couldn't help shuddering, killing. God. Dong Mingyu's voice quivered. Those were the eyes of the god staring at her. She was like a disciple who had committed a grave sin and was facing the worst punishment. She turned pale. Long Chen also looked back at those eyes. He felt like needles were stabbing his soul, but he glared back. He knew that these eyes weren't looking at Dong Mingyu but at him. That sharp pain was a probe. As the pain in his soul grew, the divine gate star in his mind sea began to quiver. Following that, the nether gate star also slowly lit up. Suddenly, the eyes vanished, and the rune gave up on struggling. It instantly entered Dong Mingyu's head. Dong Mingyu and Long Chen opened their eyes. Long Chen saw that the red mark representing the inheritance had gone dim. Dong Mingyu's face was filled with disbelief. How was it? Did it work? Asked Long Chen. He put a hand on her shoulder and investigated her body. He didn't find anything off. It seemed that the rune had given up on fighting and decided to merge into Dong Mingyu's body. But he didn't feel at ease about that. Big Brother Long Chen. The killing god gave me the heavenly desolation extinction art. And, he asked me not to destroy his inheritance. I, Dong Mingyu had yet to recover from her disbelief. Just now, the rune had merged into her soul. But at the same time as she received the inheritance, she heard the killing god's voice. Please don't destroy my inheritance. The killing god had not only forgiven her betrayal and given her the rune. But he was almost pleading with her not to destroy the blood kill hall. This sudden change dumbfounded her. Long Chen was frowning even more now. The killing god had been probing him. But as soon as the divine gate star and nether gate star had been provoked. He had immediately pulled back and given the rune to Dong Mingyu. What was that supposed to mean? Did he manage to test out Long Chen's power? Or did he know something? Dong Mingyu was delighted at obtaining the heavenly desolation extinction art. It was a truly terrifying divine art that didn't disappoint her. However, 
Long Chen was vaguely feeling uneasy, as if he had been schemed against. Did the killing god know the secrets of the Nine Stars? It had been a long time since he had heard the call of that mysterious voice. He felt some terrifying threat slowly getting closer. This time, there was no need for that mysterious voice to warn him. He himself felt an unprecedented sense of urgency. Let's go. Long Chen walked out with Dong Mingyu. Zhang Ziyang and the others only watched as they left. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu received some good news once they returned. Chapter 2334 Opportunity Within Crisis Translator Born to be the Dragon Blood Legion had advanced to the first Havenstage of Nether Passage. During this time, they had started refining the immemorial essence blood. Boss, based on your previous estimates, an ordinary person would need 10 drops of immemorial essence blood to activate their spirit blood and connect to their manifestation. But I'd guess that they'd need a hundred. Guo Ran immediately ran over to discuss this matter with Long Chen when he returned. Seeing the surging blood chi around Guo Ran and his faint dragon chi, Long Chen guessed that Guo Ran had been the first to try absorbing the immemorial essence blood. His lip curled. How many drops did you use? 93. Guo Ran was a bit embarrassed. Even a weak chicken like you needed 93 drops? Then someone like Gu Yang will probably need 200. Long Chen sighed and shook his head. Guo Ran's physical body was the weakest of the men of the Dragon Blood Legion. When considering the Dragon Blood Legion as a whole, he was second to last, ranking only in front of Meng Chi. Boss, it's not nice to bring up your brother's flaws. Guo Ran turned red. Well, isn't your calculation way off then? What do you mean around 100 drops? Aren't you the only one who's going to use less than 100 drops? while everyone else will be using way more, demanded Long Chen. No matter what time it was, Guo Ran never forgot to give himself some extra face. Isn't there also big sister Meng Chi retorted Guo Ran. Meng Chi is a soul cultivator. You're going to compete against her in how weak your physical body is. Long Chen was speechless. He, boss, as long as you understand it's fine. You don't need to say it out loud. Give your little brother some face. Proposed Guo Ran. Long Chen rolled his eyes. How do you feel after activating your spirit blood? Powerful. Very powerful. The immemorial essence blood has fully ignited the evil dragon essence blood. My power has increased by at least three times. Said Guo Ran. Growing excited. Three times? How is that possible? Long Chen was startled. That was too much. It was said that the power increase should be around 30 to 50%. With only rare cases of 80%. It's true. After I absorbed the immemorial essence blood, the dragon blood inside me began to unleash limitless power. I've tested it multiple times, and it really is a three times increase. He, maybe it is because I was just too powerful from the start. Chortled Guo Ran. Long Chen instantly understood this sarcasm. The other dragon blood warriors had absorbed the metal devouring evil dragon's essence blood as well but to unleash its full power required corresponding power and will. Guo Ran was weak in both aspects, resulting in him being unable to bring out the full potential of the evil dragon essence blood. Unlike the other dragon blood warriors, thanks to the immemorial essence blood, he had fully activated the dragon blood, increasing his power by an exceptional amount. Then are you unbeatable now? Asked Long Chen. A three times increase that was then multiplied by his armor meant that Guo Ran's power was definitely shocking. You overpraise me. He, Guo Ran was very pleased. If he had a tail, it would definitely be up and wagging with pride. He patted his chest. I secretly tested myself against Wild. As long as he doesn't go big, I can overpower him. That's pretty amazing. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. Only Long Chen could match Wild in power. Even Gu Yang wasn't able to do that. Regretfully, Wild couldn't train in cultivation techniques or battle skills. He could only fight with brute power. Otherwise, he'd be even more threatening. For Guo Ran to be able to match Wild in power, then adding on his special fighting techniques, he was definitely extremely powerful. Boss, this immemorial essence blood is truly a priceless treasure. Due to the dragon blood in our bodies, we'll need a huge amount of it. Based on my calculations, we probably only have enough for 500 people. So, Guo Ran trailed off. 
He didn't know how to distribute the immemorial essence blood because it was such an important matter. Hence, he needed Long Chen's opinion. Do you need to ask? Give it to the strongest members first. Once they're finished with it, they can go for a stroll through the yin-yang world and then we'll have enough for everyone. But the divine families the divine families had stationed two armies to guard the yin-yang world due to the last sneak attack. They had mobilized two heavenly dragon legion and were not allowing anyone to enter. We're not going to bother with them. We just have a collaborative relationship. But they can't restrict us. I'll handle this by talking to Elder Long. If he doesn't agree, we'll just charge through. Long Chen flapped his hand dismissively. Last time's matter was caused by Yi Ben Chang, and that meant it was the Divine Family's fault, not the Dragonblood Legions. For Long Chen to not go make demands over this matter was already not bad of him. If they tried to make things hard on him though, all right, I'll handle it right now, said Guo Ran. Good. Remember, we have to be ready for the Starfield Divine World when it opens. I want as many people as possible to have their spirit blood awakened before that said Long Chen. Last time, Elder Long said that it would take some more time to open the Starfield Divine World. Supposedly, it took quite a few resources from the Divine Families to do so. Now that the Blood Race had broken the Sovereign Seals, the Divine Families had quickened the pace because this was the final chance for the Divine Families and the junior generation of the Martial Heaven Continent to get stronger. Before those seals fully collapsed, they had to strengthen themselves as much as possible. As for the blood race, they were currently gathering their forces in secret. Once the forces from Devil Spirit Mountain, Resentful Death City, and the ancient battlefield were ready, they would definitely attack the continent together. Once Guo Ran left, Long Chen went to see Jung Wenlong. The tense atmosphere of the continent was actually benefiting the business of the Huai insect immensely. Everyone knew a bloody battle was coming. They needed to get as strong as possible, so they didn't mind spending all their sect's resources and foundation on buying various life-saving treasures. They were willing to bankrupt themselves. When Long Chen arrived, Jung Wenlong smiled. Brother Long, I really am admiring myself more and more. When I first met you, I was just a rookie of the cultivation world, but I had the great vision to invest in you. Everything I have now is proof of just how wise that decision was back then. Are you praising me or yourself? Long Chen smiled. Although I'm very indifferent about fame and fortune, your praise is still making me conceited. Jung Wenlong's special charisma was able to make him feel calm even with the impending crisis coming. Furthermore, he saw that the Huai insect was operating quite well. The disciples smiled and greeted him. It was a stark contrast from the bleakness of the rest of the world. I believe the part about not caring about fame, but as for being indifferent toward fortune, you should know that in this world, without money, it's difficult to advance even by a single inch, said Jung Wenlong with a smile. You're right, I was wrong. Money really is very important, agreed Long Chen. I came to buy a few medicinal ingredients. Haha. <laughs> I had difficulty buying them the last time you came since no one wanted to sell them. But now, with the pressure of the dark era, people are willing to sell even their treasures for things that can protect them. They're not thinking about long-term profit any longer. So now is the best time for you to trade things, said Jung Wenlong. Having worked with Long Chen for so long, Jung Wenlong was aware of what kind of things Long Chen possessed. The essence blood, crystal cores and divine materials that Long Chen possessed were in great demand during this time. Long Chen smiled. He knew that this was the best time to trade. It was the worst era but also the best era. Long Chen left a long list of ingredients he wanted. They were all ingredients for precious 11th tier medicinal pills. When he had advanced to the Nether Passage realm, many pills formulas had silently appeared in his head without him even being aware of it. With the immemorial essence blood as well as the support of medicinal pills, the Dragonblood Legion would be able to soar in power. The upcoming Dark Era gave him immense pressure. Furthermore, Sovereign Moli had said that his cheating this time would increase the karma for next time. As a result, Long Chen's next heavenly tribulation would be on an unimaginable level. If he didn't do everything he could to increase his power, he would be doomed. However, 
It seemed that many opportunities also appeared during these dark times that could boost the power of the Dragonblood Legion, that increased his confidence. Long Chen had a premonition that the Nether Passage Realm would be the chance for the Dragonblood Legion to erupt in power. In the future, they would be his greatest support. After leaving Zheng Wenlong's place, he went into the wild world. During this time, the original Devil Race had also been very busy. The Devil Race was continuing to attack the wild world. It seemed that they had sensed something wrong, and stronger Devil Races were attacking. Fortunately, with the formation that Xia Chen had set up, not one of them had managed to escape. Everything was progressing rapidly, but with no need for concern. Long Chen walked away with a huge amount of resources, including divine materials and precious materials from magical beasts. Those were all things that the Martial Heaven Continent urgently needed. He left them for Zheng Wenlong to handle. After arranging those things, he returned to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, whereupon he jumped in shock. Countless experts of the Xuan beasts were currently pouring in. Chapter 2335 It's a Trap Translator Born to be there were currently millions of various Xuan beasts gathered within the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory. Long Chen had an icy smile. The Xuan beasts really forgot their beatings quickly. Had they come to find another mountain to rely on? When Long Chen came walking out of the transportation formation, he saw that not one member of the Dragonblood Legion was present. Upon seeing him, the clamor died out. All the Xuan beasts looked at Long Chen apprehensively, but not with any panic. Big Brother Long Chen, you're back. Come to the Cloud Chasing Palace. Cloud grabbed Long Chen's hand and dragged him to the palace. The Xuan beasts in their way all bowed to her. What is going on? Asked Long Chen. He, all our old enemies like the Kunpeng race, the Nine Heavens Phoenix race, and the others have been wiped out. A few of them got away, but in the end, other Xuan beasts sent them before us. Having lost the support of the Kunpeng race, the Xuan beasts wished to raise the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races the emperors of the Xuan beasts. The large and powerful races have already assented, and their leaders are in the palace discussing it with our race leader. However, she hasn't agreed to anything yet and is waiting for you to return to discuss it, said Cloud excitedly. Ha! Long Chen snorted. What? Is being emperor bad? The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race has been suppressed for so long by the Kunpen race. Now we can return to an even greater glory. Cloud looked at Long Chen with surprise. You're still too young, said Long Chen, rubbing her head. The Pen Emperor's statue had been broken. With his inheritance gone, the Kunpen race had been hunted down. Their accomplices like the Nine Heavens Phoenix race were also wiped out. Hence. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race truly possessed the power to replace them, but things definitely weren't so simple. Long Chen arrived at the palace to see hundreds of Xuan beasts standing inside. Kei Yushu and the other core elders of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race were also present. Only Kei Yushu was permitted to be seated. When Long Chen walked in, their voices stopped. It seemed that they had been discussing something but didn't wish to continue in front of him. Long Chen, you're finally back. It just so happens that we have major affairs to discuss with you. Kei Yushu hastily stood. In front of all the others, she could grandly sit while others stood. But in front of Long Chen, she never viewed herself as his senior. She would forever remember that everything that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had was because of him. You're too kind. This is an internal matter of the Xuan beasts. As an outsider. It's not good for me to participate. Long Chen shook his head. What are you saying? No matter how much time passes, you will forever be the benefactor of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. We will always follow your lead, said Kei Yushu. She seemed to have sensed something as well. As the leader of her race, she had to have a sharper vision than others. She seemed to sense Long Chen's displeasure. These words of hers were not just for placating him either. They were heartfelt. Without him, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would have been killed by the Kunpen race. She didn't know why Long Chen was unhappy, but she and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would never go against him. So she first stated that clearly. Long Chen nodded to her. He then faced the people in the palace and announced. 
then everyone here can leave. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race will not be your emperor's what everyone's expression changed. They didn't know why Long Chen would say this. Not even the elders of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. In terms of power, bloodline, or inheritance, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race is not inferior to the Kunpen race or the nine heavens phoenix race. It's not out of place for us to let the Xuan beasts, said one of the elders of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Uncle, K. Yuzhu indicated for him to be quiet. This elder's cultivation base wasn't particularly high, but his seniority was above hers. K. Yuzhu had a bad feeling upon seeing him rise. He immediately said, Yuzhu, I understand what you're saying, but some things must be said explicitly. After all, we are Xuan beasts. Our bloodlines are special. K. Yuzhu's expression changed. This was clearly saying that Long Chen was a human, and not part of the Xuan beasts. Although there was nothing wrong with saying that, for him to say it now seemed to indicate that he didn't care about Long Chen's favor to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. After being lifted by Long Chen, he wanted to kick him away. When she thought of that, her expression sank and she became furious. Had this old fellow grown muddled with age? Race leader, our cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race is about to enter our most glorious era. We've wiped away the humiliation of tens of thousands of years. By leading the world of Xuan beasts, won't our name go down in history? What is wrong with that? Another elder of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race stood as well. Long Chen, we've always cared about you and are very grateful to you. But we don't understand why you wish to stop our rise. Are you threatened by us? You all. K. Yuzhu raged. And killing intent finally appeared within her eyes. Aunt K. Don't be angry. They are not wrong, said Long Chen. Since we're not wrong, can you explain why you wish to stop our growth? Demanded one of the elders. One of the Xuan beasts asked, Is it because you have a prejudice against us? If so, we will collectively kneel toward you in apology. It was the guidance of the Kunpen race that caused our conflict. Now, we wish to remain unified. We don't wish to see the Xuan beasts fracture and start fighting amongst ourselves. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race is currently the only one in a position capable of winning all of us over and being a stable leader. That doesn't seem to pose any harm to you. These words were very reasonable and not directly against Long Chen. However, there seemed to be a tone of grievance within them. It incited the other Xuan beasts' resentment at being forced into submitting to such a person. Everyone's gazes concentrated on Long Chen, with more than a few containing some anger. Long Chen smiled and looked from that Xuan beast to the elders of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. He shook his head. Do you know why I helped the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race? Those elders didn't say anything. They didn't know what to say. So Long Chen continued. Let me put it to you this way. If I put the effort I did into raising the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race toward the disciples of the martial heaven alliance. I could have created another Dragonblood Legion. Although it would be weaker than the current Dragonblood Legion, it would definitely be stronger than the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race. Those elders remained silent. Long Chen had essentially smashed resources into the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race to help them grow. Just the grand formation was something that cost an astronomical amount. Meng Chi had even freely shared the Myriad Spirit Diagram with them allowing them to regain their lost divine abilities. Otherwise, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would not possess its current power. We will remember what you've done for us, but you can't expect us to allow you to control the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race forever just become of some kindness shut your mouth. K. Yingfeng, using my status as race leader, I dismiss you from your post as Grand Elder and expel you, shouted K. Yuzhu. The elder that had been speaking fell silent. The first expression on his face was not anger but sadness instead. In front of the other shocked elders, he took a deep breath and walked away. However, he was stopped by Long Chen. His expression changed. He demanded, What? Are you going to take my life for this? Despite his position, he had to listen to the race leader's words, or he would be a sinner of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. 
But just because he had accepted his dismissal didn't mean he was a coward. Everyone, calm down. Let me finish speaking. There's no need for such drama. Long Chen looked over to the elders of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. My main reason for helping the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race is Cloud. Cloud is one of my closest companions. If her race is in danger, I will help without hesitation. When I help people, I don't ask for compensation. So when you say I want to control you, there is no such thing. I already have a group of life and death brothers I can rely on, and I don't need anyone else. Elder K. Yingfeng's anger faded hearing that. Everyone was aware of Long Chen's pride. His accusation truly had been a bit too much. Cloud stood beside Long Chen, tightly holding his hand. She was extremely grateful. Do you know why I oppose you becoming the emperors of the Xuan beasts? It's because, it's a trap. Long Chen looked at the various Xuan beasts that had come and sneered. What Ke Yushu and the other members of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race were startled to hear that. Chapter 2336 The Hand Behind the Scenes Translator Born to be Long Chen, you, we are sincerely pledging loyalty to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. We fully support them as emperors of the Xuan beasts. How does that become a trap in your eyes? shouted one of the Xuan beasts furiously. Long Chen, what intentions are you harboring? This is clearly a matter for the Xuan beasts alone. As a human, you don't understand our feelings. The Xuan beasts continued to talk angrily for a while. Shut up, Long Chen suddenly shouted, cutting them all off. The icy killing intent made them shut their mouths. If I wanted to kill you, is there anyone within this palace capable of blocking one of my attacks? You want to act tough in front of me? If you want to die so badly, hurry up and come. His gaze swept through them icily, with no one daring to meet it. He was someone who had even killed Kun Pengzi. None of these Xuan beasts could fight against him. Long Chen sneered. Your little thoughts can be concealed from others. But do you think you can trick me? Do you think everyone is as childish as you? I almost can't be bothered to ask whether it was the idea of the Divine Families or Pill Valley. When he said this, he noted quite a few people's expressions changed. Clearly, he had guessed right. K. Yus who also sensed it due to her experience from leading the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race through years of bitterness. As for the elders, they also found something odd and began to listen carefully. The Xuan beasts have no leader now and are like a plate of sand. When the invaders strike, you will definitely take enormous losses. Who knows how many races will be wiped out entirely. I don't believe that you wouldn't go begging for aid from the divine families, as well as Pill Valley and your other so-called allies. However, you didn't get any help. So you threw away all your dignity and ran over here for the protection of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. I also refuse to believe that no one helped you come to that conclusion. You must have weighed the pros and cons of this before jointly deciding to come here. Long Chen's gaze swept across them. Now that the Dark Era is imminent and your greatest support, the Kunpeng race, is gone. The Xuan beasts no longer have their old glory. Now, all you can do is hope to ally with the human race's experts just like you did back in those years. However, when the human race declined, your treatment of them made such a thing impossible. The human race no longer cares for you. So you've run over to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, by calling it the glorified action of consecrating them as emperors, when in reality you just want a powerful backer to protect you. Putting it even more frankly, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race will be your shield, the boat you sit in to pass through the upcoming dark era what nonsense. We, Long Chen slapped that Xuan beast who stood against him. That was a third step nether passage expert, but he had no ability to resist in front of Long Chen. The Xuan beast slammed into a stone pillar, shaking the palace. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. After that, Long Chen grabbed his neck and raised him until his feet no longer touched the ground. With the thought, he could kill him. Long Chen, what are you doing? You're going to use martial power to suppress people now? Are you planning on killing all of us? No one is allowed to go against you. Is that it? You're going to claim the entire martial heaven continent as your own. Another Xuan beast started going off, and Long Chen simply flicked a finger, 
sending a lightning arrow that exploded his head. You're intentionally trying to confuse right and wrong. I'm not so bored as to waste time with you. If you want to die, then keep opening your mouths. Long Chen's expression was dark. Quite a few of these people were set up to oppose him, irritating him. In an instant, no one else in the palace dared to open their mouths because they found that Long Chen was truly angry. If they continued antagonizing him, that would be too stupid. Seeing no one else speak, Long Chen turned back to the expert whose throat he was holding. Tell me, who prompted you to come here? After saying that, Long Chen added, Don't try to lie in front of me. Even the Divine Family's Heavenly Dragon Legion was slaughtered by me. So don't think that I won't dare to kill you. I've completely locked onto your spiritual fluctuations. If you lie, it will only mean that you've grown tired of living. The expert in his hand was pale with terror. Despite his fury, he turned cowardly in front of Long Chen's cold gaze. It was the elder of the divine families who gave us the idea. What the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's elders were stunned, especially those that had been in agreement with this plan. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's people treat each other sincerely, but that doesn't mean that others will treat you with that sincerity. Senior, you should not let your temper control you. Long Chen looked at the elder that had almost been expelled by Qiu Yuzhu. Long Chen was expressionless. It seemed he had known that this would be the result from the start. He continued asking, was it Ji Yeochen? No, it was another elder. The expert seemed to have admitted his defeat and obediently answered. Long Chen nodded, too lazy to even ask who that elder was. Clearly, Ye Yeochen had grown ahead and wasn't going to be caught so easily. He had sent someone to do his dirty work. Long Chen ordered, tell us the details. The expert told them about how the Xuan beasts were terrified of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race after they had wiped out the Kunpeng race and the other strongest pillars of the Xuan beasts. After all, during the time that the Kunpeng race had led them, they had listened to their orders and hunted down the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. After tens of thousands of years, every powerful race had killed some members of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They were all afraid that they would turn on them now. Under that pressure and fear, they had cast their lot to the divine families, only for them to say that they had no time to handle them due to the destruction of the sovereign seals. In fact, they had been so impatient that the representative they had spoken to had told them to screw off. Having lost the Kunpen race, the Xuan beasts were no longer viewed as important by the divine families. Helplessly, they had run over to Pill Valley. After all, they had been allies. Unfortunately, those former allies didn't give them any help. Yu Ziaoyan refused to even see them. As for the corrupt path and the ancient family alliance, they viewed them like the plague, afraid of associating with them for fear that Long Chen would come. Tian Zizi had yet to reappear after having his leg cut off by Long Chen. He had not come out of the corrupt god cemetery. As for Di Fang, after fleeing, it was said that he hadn't dared to return to the headquarters of the ancient family alliance. He was still in the wind. Long Chen didn't seem to have any intention of searching for him. But who knew if this was the calm before the storm? After all, Long Chen never acted according to conventional means. If he was secretly waiting, then revealing himself would practically be giving Long Chen an excuse to kill him. The current Long Chen wasn't an existence that the divine families could control. Antagonizing him at this time was very unwise. Long Chen was like a ferocious beast quietly lying beside them. Once he found a chance, he would devour them. Even the Kunpeng race had been wiped out in the end. So all the various powers were afraid of the current Long Chen. No one wanted to be the one to offend him and end up being targeted. The corrupt path and Pill Valley could be said to be undying mortal enemies with Long Chen. And theoretically, they should be supporting the Xuan beasts against Long Chen at this time. After all, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. However, they didn't dare to. The attitude of the divine families was not favorable to them. Yi Yeo Chen wanted Long Chen dead, but Elder Long was protecting him. It was due to this incomprehensible state that the Xuan beasts were left with nowhere else to go. The divine families didn't care about them, and others didn't want to associate with them due to fear. 
Just as the Xuan beasts were looking for any kind of support and not receiving any, a mysterious elder of the divine families pointed them to a smart path. That elder had said to rely on the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, saying that they were a race of the Xuan beasts and couldn't possibly work together with the human race for too long. They would eventually split with Long Chen. By throwing themselves to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow, their experts would definitely stand at the very front when the Dark Era's battle started. That would give them a greater chance of survival. That elder had even subtly indicated that a few people should try to incite disharmony between Long Chen and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race to antagonize him. Once he grew angry, then with his pride, he would no longer bother with the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. He would gradually distance himself from them, and then the Xuan beasts would be united again. Furthermore, as a former ally of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, once they were united, Long Chen wouldn't touch them. Bastards. I'll kill you all. The elder of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow coughed up a mouthful of blood. That was from rage. With a furious roar, he pounced on those Xuan beasts. Chapter 2337 Deciding with just a word translator. Born to be only now did he realize the ulterior motive of the Xuan beasts. That elder of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was so infuriated that he completely forgot himself and attacked. When the Xuan beasts had come here to willingly submit to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race and put on such a respectful attitude, he had felt years of resentment fall off his shoulders. He had been so happy that he almost forgot about that pain. The old elders had endured the most and were especially emotional to see the day that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would be crowned emperors. To be able to see their race rise to such a level brought them too many emotions to describe. It was due to these emotions that they hadn't thought too much about the Xuan beast surrender. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race truly possessed the power to lead the Xuan beasts, and they were their only option. However, they hadn't expected that this loyalty was just a facade to make the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race their shield. They had been treated like fools. The Xuan beasts gave them a paltry crown to make them their sacrificial shield. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was taken for fools. Furthermore, they had even tried to instigate a conflict between them and Long Chen. The elder was stopped by the oldest elder of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Elder K. Yifeng. K. Yifeng himself was ashamed, and he suddenly slammed his own hand toward his head to repent for his actions. Startled cries rang out from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's experts, but when his hand was just three inches from his head, something caught his wrist. Long Chen. I. Seeing that the one to stop him was Long Chen, K. Yifeng was even more ashamed. He had doubted Long Chen's motives and almost caused the downfall of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. The only thing he could do was offer his own life as an apology. Senior, killing yourself like this is really contemptuous Long Chen shook his head. This is the only way to atone for my foolishness, said K. Yifeng. If every mistake required dying to atone, then there wouldn't be any living creatures in this world. I've made mistakes. But aren't I living quite shamelessly anyway? All that matters is that you don't make the same mistake twice, said Long Chen. Long Chen. I really Long Chen waved his hand. Seniority has nothing to do with it. We are all novices when it comes to mistakes that we haven't made. If you die here, that would be the real sin. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race still needs you. The entire martial heaven continent needs you. This is a critical moment for all living beings of this world. As one of the top fighters of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, how many enemies is your life worth? How many others can you protect with that life? If you die, who would shield the children who have yet to grow? The elders of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race hung their heads, and K. Yifeng had an urge to find a hole to hide himself in. My life is not my own. It belongs to every member of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Hearing those words from K. Yifeng, K. Yushu felt a weight lift off her shoulders. No one else could have stopped this stubborn old man from what he had decided. Not even her. But Long Chen was able to make him lower his head and accept his mistakes with just a few words. 
Although Kei Yifeng was stubborn and stuck to old habits, he had fought for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race countless times and had accumulated a lot of hidden wounds within his body. He was one of the few remaining Grand Elders. There was no other person from his generation. He was the only one who had survived those tumultuous times. The merit he had contributed to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was such that even she, as race leader, had to be somewhat deferential to him. It was due to this that Kei Yifeng's temper had grown stranger. He was also the only one within the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race who dared to go against Kei Yuzhu. Seeing him calm down with just a few words from Long Chen relieved Kei Yuzhu. Long Chen also smiled. The Xuan beasts were, after all, not humans and were lacking in many aspects of human thinking. Long Chen put down the Xuan beast in his hand. Looking at him, Long Chen said, As soon as I saw you, I knew your goal. If you were really sincere, you would have come to join as soon as the Kunpeng race was annihilated. After capturing a few of the Kunpeng race's evildoers, you could have brought them over to express your greatest sincerity. However, you waited. You waited for days before suddenly coming here. You are taking advantage of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's inflated hearts from this victory to deceive them. To tell the truth, I'm not trying to look down on your intelligence. But when it comes to scheming, the Xuan beasts will never achieve any great heights. There was definitely someone who proposed this to you. Amongst the Xuan beasts, a few were panicking. Those people had clearly known about this before. But most of them were still lost not realizing that such things had occurred behind the scenes. We were also foolish to so easily believe them, sighed Kei Yuzhu. She had also been delighted to see the Xuan beasts come. After all, this was a grand occasion, one with great meaning to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. However, the difference was that she had known that they had to at least hear Long Chen's opinion over such an important matter. Inside though, she had been the same as the other experts of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They all hoped to become emperors. Now that Long Chen had arrived and explained it, they realized it was just a trap. This crown came with a terrible blood price. Race leader Yuzhu, we sincerely wish for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race to be our emperors. We are willing to listen to all of your orders. You don't need to doubt our sincerity no matter how you put it. We are all Xuan beasts. The current Xuan beasts are in chaos and fractured. We need an emperor race to let us. Yes, the Xuan beasts must be unified. Otherwise, when the dark era comes, we will be the first to be wiped out. More and more of the Xuan beasts began to speak up. Based on their appearances, it seemed that they were very sincere. Long Chen, falling for the divine family's lies was our mistake. However, Believe us when we say we are willing to be fully loyal to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Every one of us will listen to our emperor's orders. We'll go wherever the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race says. Our fates will be bound together. The Xuan beast that Long Chen had grabbed by the neck also spoke up brazenly. The Xuan beasts were enemies with you because of the orders of the Kunpen race. We had no choice but to carry out orders. Now that the dark era is coming. The Xuan beasts need a leader. We also want to survive. Even if all of us have to die, at least our descendants have to survive to continue our bloodlines. Long Chen, I beg you to allow us to follow the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Even if you put us at the front of the battle lines to be crushed, we won't mind, said one of the leaders of the Xuan beasts. That elder was weeping, and he knelt toward Long Chen. Many of the Xuan beasts that had come were old members of their race. This kowtow was a kowtow for his descendants. More and more of the Xuan beasts began to fall to their knees. But before their knees could touch the ground, a force lifted them up. Long Chen waved his hand, preventing their actions. I don't need anyone to give up their dignity for me. Since you've said this, then we can discuss this properly. I didn't want the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race to be used and I didn't want any of the Xuan beasts to be secretly listening to the divine families and ruining things. Now that you've come together, I won't participate in whatever the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race decides on. After saying that, Long Chen prepared to leave, but Kei Yuzhu held him back. She said, Long Chen, 
The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's current achievements are thanks to you. We also don't have your intelligence. What we can do is trust you wholeheartedly. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race will always follow your lead and fight together with you. Even if we become the emperors of the Shwen beasts, we will always listen to your orders. So you can decide things today. We are all willing to listen to your decision. All the elders of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race looked at Long Chen. Everyone's gaze is concentrated on Long Chen. The atmosphere inside the palace grew incomparably tense. With just a word, Long Chen would decide the fate of the Xuan Beasts. Chapter 2338 The Unified Xuan Beasts Translator Born to be seeing everyone looking at him, Cloud held Long Chen's hand tightly. He could feel how sweaty her palm was. Although she was just a child, the pride and sense of honor of being part of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race was part of her core. After being humiliated for so many years, they all thirsted to return to the peak and prove themselves. They thirsted to use this generation's glory to comfort their fallen ancestors. Xuan beasts naturally were very direct and didn't consider things too much. This was also a weakness of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race and it was something that the divine families had noticed. Based on the calculations of whoever that person was, whatever Long Chen said, due to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race wishing to be emperors, they would slowly escape his grasp. In the end, the two sides would be fractured, even if there wasn't a full split. By secretly instigating some conflict between them, they would end up growing more and more distant. Silently, Long Chen would lose one of his allies. With this plot exposed, no one knew what decision Long Chen would make. His choice would be the choice of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Long Chen looked at everyone and sighed. I know many of you have ulterior motives. Some of you have been bought by the divine families and Pill Valley. To tell the truth, I have no interest in your squabbling. What you're playing is just a boring children's game to me. But for Cloud, I have no choice but to make things clear. All right then. I will give you one option. You want to surrender to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race? Fine. But you must swear on your soul and bloodline to follow the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race for your lifetime. All the Xuan beasts expressions changed. This kind of oath was too over the top as it would be shackling themselves. If they betrayed it, the curse of the heavenly deos would destroy their entire race. This was essentially handing the fates of their races to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. The rest of the Xuan beasts would become their servants. This requirement is too much. We can't accept, said one of the Xuan beasts, with others nodding along. This oath was binding themselves for generations to come. If the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race wanted them dead, they would be dead. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating for everyone to calm down. Let me finish. In my life, I wish to live with dignity. It is precisely because of that desire that I am surrounded by enemies. No one knows better than me how important freedom is. The Xuan beast's expression softened slightly. They recalled how Long Chen had truly started off in the eastern wastelands and fought against all kinds of pressure for his freedom. He had never lowered his head, and even his bloody cultivation path hadn't crushed that spirit. Hence, they listened patiently. Long Chen continued, you wish to join the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race due to the current crisis, you want them to lead you against the bloody tide which is the dark era, in the same vein, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race needs you, only when everyone is unified can everyone have a greater chance of survival, so, this can be considered a mutually beneficial arrangement. I mentioned that you would have to swear loyalty to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, but the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race will also swear on their souls and bloodline not to betray you. Hearing that, the Xuan beasts relaxed. If the oath was double sided, then it was much more acceptable. Even though quite a few of them were still hesitant, others were already nodding along. When they had followed the Kunpen race, they had no choice. The Kunpeng race had been extremely domineering, essentially demanding obedience or death. Others had no choice but to acquiesce if they wanted to survive. As for freedom, if they couldn't even keep their lives, then freedom was a luxury. 
As for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, the Xuan beasts wished to join them, but seeing as they were newly rising, the Xuan beasts hoped to at least have some better treatment. At the very least, they didn't wish to be used like dogs like with the Kunpen race. When they arrived though, they found that others were still using them, and their sincerity was doubted. If the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race can swear to at least give us the appropriate respect, then my silver fox race is willing to have the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race be our emperors. We will go through water and fire for you. Quite a few races immediately expressed their loyalty. Most of them were weaker races. As a result, the stronger ones were starting to look unsightly. For powerful races like them with many experts, joining a side would require at least discussing a few requirements. But in this scenario, doing that would make them seem conceited. That probably wasn't a good look in front of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They were caught in this predicament not willing to join so easily but also not in a spot to actually say anything. Long Chen waved his hand once more for silence. I wasn't finished talking. Don't be in such a rush. After all, this doesn't just affect your own prospects but the future of all the Xuan beasts. At the very least, you must calmly discuss it before making such a big decision. Don't do something that will make your descendants curse you. That was the truth. They were the representatives of their races, so they each had to consider things for their entire race. Those hesitating Xuan beasts looked at Long Chen gratefully. It seemed that Long Chen was the only other expert that had ever managed to put himself in their position when treating with them. Their belief in him grew quite a bit without them even realizing it. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race is too prideful to use schemes to trick people. Race leader Yuzhu has already said that whether or not the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race becomes emperor of the Xuan beasts, they will remain my most trusted allies. We will advance and retreat together. Thus, if you join the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, you will also become my allies, and I won't disappoint you. Those who join will have the myriad spirit diagram open to them so they can continue their lost inheritances and divine abilities. This is an important matter that pertains to the fates of your races. So I will give you a few days to consider it what hearing that the myriad spirit diagram would be accessible to them. The Xuan beasts couldn't even hear anything more. The reason that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race could return to their ancient glory was precisely because the myriad spirit diagram had allowed them to continue their lost inheritance. Long Chen was now saying that they could do the same? R. Are you really telling the truth? Asked a Xuan beast, his voice trembling with emotion. The main reason for the clash between Long Chen and the Xuan beasts was the myriad spirit diagram. At that time, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had declined to a miserable point that they were no longer viewed as important, and a declined race could no longer use their former splendor to scare others. The Kunpen race had wanted the myriad spirit diagram which had resulted in them becoming mortal enemies with Long Chen. However, they had died without having a chance to see the myriad spirit diagram. Of course it's true. Furthermore, I will not limit how much you can learn, said Long Chen. Long Chen looked at Cloud, and Cloud returned a sweet and confident smile. She was saying that it didn't matter what divine abilities they learned. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would still have the power to stand supreme. This was the pride of their race. The explosive blood fire dragon race swears on its bloodline and soul to follow the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race through life and death. The blood mark devil ape race swears on its bloodline and soul. The heavenly eagle race. Rather than considering it for a few days like Long Chen recommended, every single Xuan beast knelt and swore their allegiance to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race immediately. This move of Long Chen's was giving a slap and then giving a candy. The slap was not too light or heavy, but the candy was too much. Hence, the Xuan beasts instantly swore allegiance to them. After all of them finished swearing, Kei Yuzhu also made her oath. As long as they didn't betray the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, they would not betray them. After her oath, the entire palace erupted into cheers. When the news was transmitted to the Xuan beasts outside the palace, many of them began to rush around, crying and laughing excitedly. 
Long Chen held Cloud's hand with a smile, with the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race leading all the Xuan beasts. He had gained yet another powerful group of allies. Chapter 2339 Planning Something Big Translator Born to be the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race had become the emperors of the Xuan beasts. This news instantly spread throughout the martial heaven continent. Many people had thought that the Xuan beasts would decide on a new ruler with the help of the divine families. Some had guessed that a portion of them would end up joining the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race but they hadn't expected every single Xuan beast race to join them. Not one of them put out a dissenting word. Furthermore, all the Xuan beasts began to leave their old territories to surge toward the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory. After some investigation, people were shocked to learn that Long Chen had opened the myriad spirit diagram to the Xuan beasts, letting them find their lost inheritances. By opening the myriad spirit diagram to them, Long Chen had instantly won the hearts of the Xuan beasts. As a result, the territory of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race was packed to the brim. Long Chen, some people have suggested moving our territory. K. Yuzhu and Long Chen were talking alone. Before she finished, Long Chen said, It should be moved to the territory of the Xuan beasts. Right? Yes, that's true. As emperor of the Xuan beasts, you should be with them. As for the grand formation, Many of the materials can be dismantled without damage. There won't be that much of a loss, and we have enough manpower for that. You should come with us. Without you, I always feel uneasy. Other than that, the coronation is three days from now. Cloud. Cloud is too young for that. She is still a child. I don't want her to carry something like that, as it is also a kind of shackle. This crown can only belong to you. Me. K. Yuzhu was startled. Right now, Cloud was the strongest expert of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. If anyone was to be crowned, it should be her. What's wrong with that? In the mortal world, kings and emperors aren't those who possess the greatest martial power, but those who have the right mind for the job. They must have greater vision. To tell the truth, even if Cloud was crowned, she wouldn't be able to take on most of the responsibilities, and she would end up coming to you for help. Don't tell her I said this, but I would guess that it wouldn't take more than a few days before she lost her temper over all of it. So you are the most suitable to be crowned. If you need martial power, then you have the entire cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. As long as you show off your resolution, you will be able to lead the various races, said Long Chen. K. Yuzhu smiled bitterly. It seems that this burden is too heavy. If you feel that this burden is heavy. Then how can you have Cloud bear it? Don't worry, it won't be as difficult as you imagine. Just remember you have the Dragonblood Legion as support as well. Alright then, I will temporarily thicken my face and accept this position. K. Yuzhu sighed heavily. Once Cloud grows up, this position will be hers. Long Chen smiled. This position might not be something that Cloud would want. She liked playing too much to care for such a thing. Long Chen. If we're to move to the territory of the Xuan beasts, you should come with us. Otherwise, I might not be able to lead them well enough, said K. Yuzhu. Long Chen knew that the truth was that K. Yuzhu was worried about Long Chen having some kind of prejudice against the Xuan beasts. So she said this, with the Xuan beasts having made their oath and in their current state, they would listen to her obediently. Aunt K, we're a family. You don't need to worry about those things. Meng Chi will go with you to activate the Myriad Spirit Diagram, and that'll be enough. During this time, I should stay in the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. K. Yuzhu nodded and returned to her work. There was a great deal of activity she had to oversee right now. The interior of the Xuan Beasts was not fully united. Now that a new ruler was coming, quite a few people were fawning over them, as well as a few saying some bad words bringing up questions about history and other complex matters. However, K. Yuzhu ignored them. Even if those races had once attacked the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race due to the pressure of the Kunpeng race, she didn't want to pursue it. They were just pawns in the grand scheme. They couldn't go against the Kunpeng race's orders. In the same vein, now that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was emperor, those races wouldn't dare to not follow her orders. If she wanted someone dead, 
She only needed to point and they would raise their weapons against them. All she did was give those troublemakers a stern warning. The things of the past would remain in the past. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would treat all the Shwen beasts equally. This response placated the majority of them, as well as increasing the loyalty of the other races. As the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race began to move, Long Chen brought the Dragonblood Legion to the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. When he arrived, the disciples burst into cheers. He was the soul of the righteous path, and those disciples all wished to greet him. After that, Long Chen left the Dragonblood Legion with those disciples to talk, while he went to seek Hu Jinying with Yi Lingxian. Long Chen, why are you always alone? Your girlfriends are rarely with you. Did you make them mad? Asked Yi Lingxian because she didn't see Meng Qi and the others. When Meng Qi had gone to the territory of the Xuan beasts, Tang Wan'er, Chu Yao, and Yi Zhikyu had discussed it and decided that they didn't want to be separated. Also, they didn't like the noisiness of the Martial Heaven Alliance, especially Yi Zhikyu. Although Yi Lingxian was mostly teasing, Long Chen couldn't help sighing. What is it? Did you really make them mad? I wish I had that chance, but I don't even have time for such a thing. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't even know how much time had passed since he had properly accompanied them for a while. Every day was a fight to stay alive. They didn't have a chance to relax. He was a heavenly genius that countless people admired, but he didn't admire himself at all. He felt himself to be a pitiful bug within the whirlpool of fate. Just surviving was taking all he had. Let's not talk about this. Is there any news about Tian Zizi and Di Feng? asked Long Chen. He hadn't heard anything about the two of them since they had run. There's no news from Tian Zizi. After all, we don't have eyes in the corrupt path. But it seems that Di Feng has been looked upon favorably by the divine families and has joined them, said Yi Lingxian. He's gone to the divine families. Long Chen frowned. You might not know this yet. But it seems that the D family has a relationship with the divine families. You remember D Feng's little brother? Yes, that idiot whose mother wanted me to let him go because he was just a child. I remember I was so nice as to give him a chance to reincarnate, said Long Chen. He still remembered Di Xin. D Xin and D Feng are brothers from the same father but different mothers. D Xin's mother was someone from the divine families, and I hear that her position isn't low. As for why she would marry Di Long, it's unknown. After Di Xin died, his mother returned to the divine families and has only come out recently. She went to the ancient family alliance and spoke to Di Long before leaving. No one knows what they talked about, but afterward, Di Feng was brought into the divine families. Ah, it seems that he was brought into the Yi family, and I heard that Di Xin's mother is also surnamed Yi. Are you saying that the reason the Yi family is targeting me is because of that old bitch? It's very likely. Yi Lingxian nodded. Fine then. Although it's a bit melodramatic. At least I know why now. Long Chen was speechless. That slap from back then had ended up drawing out such a terrifying power. The two of them arrived to see Ku Jinying, the old man, Li Xiangxuan, and the other elders present. Long Chen, you said that you had something important to discuss? Tell us, said the old man. Wait a bit longer. There are still more people coming, said Long Chen. Just as he said that, Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu came in. Following that, Zi Yan also walked in. Seeing them made Ku Jinying and the others realize just how big Long Chen's plot was. Long Chen greeted Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang. Bidang Rushuang directly asked him if he had anything good for disturbing them. Long Chen smiled and said, there's definitely something good for you, or how would I dare to disturb you? Since everyone's arrived, I'll get right to the point. Everyone is now profoundly aware of the effect of the immemorial essence blood. Right, you want to attack the blood race? Asked Bidang Rushuang, surprised. He, that's right, the blood race sneak attacked us, so we have to strike back. Of course, other than for moral reasons, we can conveniently get some immemorial essence blood. Is everyone interested in that? Of course we're interested, but the divine families have stationed two armies in front of the Yun Yang world, preventing anyone from entering, said Bidang Rushuang. Just leave that to me. As long as everyone agrees, then we'll all profit. You've all helped me out, 
so I need to at least get some meat for you to eat. Right. Long Chen had an evil smile in his eyes. He had already come up with the plot long ago. All right then. When? Everyone knew that Long Chen was the master of not losing out with his evil plots. Following him, there would definitely be meat to eat. The day of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's coronation is the day that we'll attack the blood race, said Long Chen, startling everyone. Chapter 2340 Pretending Translator Born to be the coronation of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race was a matter that shook the entire martial heaven continent. It signified that the Xuan beasts would be unified under their rule. Furthermore, it was Long Chen who had raised the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. They were loyal to the death. In other words, from now on, the Xuan beasts would be Long Chen's troops. Thinking of how Long Chen had protected the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race so fiercely back in the day, and then thinking about this result, people wondered if this had been his plan the entire time. If that was the case, then his plotting ability really was frightening. On this day, experts from all the various powers were sent over bearing gifts. Even the corrupt path sent someone, although that person was not Tian Zizi or Zi Wentian. It was just some random elder. Clearly, they were only willing to send someone they didn't care about losing. That elder was just a second step nether passage expert that Long Chen didn't care about. Under the principles of ambassadors from different nations being allowed to travel freely, Long Chen didn't make things hard on them. Due to this, Pill Valley, the ancient family alliance, and the others also sent people. The ancient races Long Junkang came, representing the entire ancient races to swear loyalty to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. However, this time, he was met with scorn from every member of the Xuan beasts. The ancient races had clearly shown that they were opportunists. But considering that even the Xuan beasts had changed masters now, they didn't say anything. Kei Yuzhu merely gave a polite smile toward the ancient races. She didn't say anything, neither accepting nor rejecting them. That was what Long Chen had told her. Due to the ancient races possessing the bloodlines of the human race and the Xuan beasts, they had the craftiness of the humans and the brutality of the Xuan beasts. They were the perfect example of someone who bullied the weak but ran from the strong. Back when the Xuan beasts had formed relationships with the human race, it had been a mistake. At that time, the Xuan beasts and the human race had been powerful, and they hoped to have descendants possessing the strength of the Xuan beasts and the human race's closeness to the heavenly deos. Regretfully, the results were that the ancient races weren't as they had hoped. Their physical bodies were weaker and even their closeness to the heavenly deos was affected. Later on, the human race declined, so the Xuan beasts began to forbid those marriages, expelling those of mixed blood who eventually became the ancient races. They were cast aside and not permitted to join the Xuan beasts. This resulted in a new independent power. Since the human race had declined, the ancient races didn't care about them. They began to say that they only recognized the Xuan beasts' bloodline growing colder toward the human race. Several times, they even raised their weapons against the human race. In Long Chen's opinion, it wasn't due to the bloodline of the Xuan beasts affecting the ancient races but because they wanted to capitalize on their relations. They would suck up to whoever benefited them the most. That was why Kei Yuzhu was hanging them out to dry according to Long Chen's suggestion. Although the ancient races also possessed their own power, their forces were of a mixed lot and not easy to use. If they joined with the Xuan beasts, it might lower their overall power. As for how to handle them later, she was ready to listen to Long Chen. She couldn't be bothered with such things. When it came to scheming, the Xuan beasts would never be able to match the human race. She would just trust him. Let the coronation begin. All the experts present fell silent, but they were also confused. It was starting so soon? There wasn't anyone from the Dragonblood Legion present. Long Chen wasn't here and neither was Ku Jinying. Only some unimportant elders were here to represent the Martial Heaven Alliance, and many people that should be present weren't. Despite their curiosity, the coronation was starting. Kei Yuzhu was sitting atop a high platform, while the Xuan beasts were chanting and kowtowing toward her. An ancient rite was underway. 
just as the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's coronation rituals began, Long Chen led the Dragonblood Legion, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Nangong family, the Bidang family, the elusive music Immortal Palace, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, and other powers. Their elites had all been gathered. Yi Lingxian, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Zi Yan were leading their own groups. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were leading the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples. Following the Dragonblood Legion, their eyes were already shining. The two of them were well aware that as long as they followed Long Chen, there would be plenty of meat to eat. This time in particular, Long Chen definitely wouldn't disappoint them. On the Zhuanchen Dao sect side, Hua Xiaoyu was leading Zhao Ziyan, Mu Qingxuan, Su Mo, and the other elite disciples. They had even greater trust in him than the others. After all, they had been from the same sect they were all filled with anticipation for what was coming. In total, they had over 300,000 elites. These were the strongest members of their powers, and this was the first time they were bringing out their full power. Boss, this is a bit big. Is the battlefield still up to me to command? Asked Guo Ran both nervously and excitedly. You're the general of the Dragonblood Legion. You'll lead the battlefield of the Dragonblood Legion. But this time, you'll have to make sure to cooperate well with Rushuang, Zuayu, Ziyan, Lingxian, and the others. It's our first time working together. So come up with some steady strategies to avoid any chaos, said Long Chen. All right boss, you just watch. Guo Ran was excited that Long Chen wasn't going to take his place this time. To the side, Bidang Rushuang's eyes widened. Don't tell me that you didn't even come up with a strategy. Are you bringing us to attack the blood race just like this? Yes? Is something the matter? Asked Long Chen. You. You really are unreliable. You didn't plan out something so big. Demanded Bidang Rushuang speechlessly. Ah. You were talking about the plan? Yes. I have one. Long Chen nodded. Then tell us. We're almost there. The plan is to kill as many of the blood race as possible to get more immemorial essence blood. And then, there's nothing else. Bidang Rushuang staggered. If it weren't for Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others standing nearby, she might have punched him. Rushuang, you've fallen for it. He's just teasing you. He can't possibly have no plan for something so big. Nangong Zuayu covered her mouth and laughed. Long Chen also laughed. Fairy Zuayu. This time you're wrong. To tell the truth, I really have no other plans. Are you telling the truth or not? Nangong Zuayu found it unbelievable. Of course it's true. Long Chen shrugged. Behind them, the old man said, plans are prepared for enemies of the same power. Long Chen doesn't have a plan because he thinks he doesn't need one. Ha ha ha. You're still the one who knows me best, said Long Chen, laughing. The Dragonblood Warriors also laughed along with the Disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Their laugh was full of confidence. Every one of them was brimming with energy. Even in the face of the upcoming battle, they didn't show any fear. Their appearance made it seem like they wished to charge into the Yin-Yang world immediately. Something which was incomprehensible to Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang. Hold it. They quickly arrived at the entrance to the Yin-Yang world where an army from the Divine Families was guarding it tightly. The Divine Families had strengthened their defenses on the Yin-Yang world ever since the Blood Race had charged onto the continent and corrupted the Sovereign Seals. Two Heavenly Dragon Legions were sent, a total of 20,000 troops. Even before Long Chen's group arrived, their powerful auras had startled the Heavenly Dragon Legions. Two of them came out, wearing the robes of commanders. Long Chen didn't recognize either of them. One of them was tall and skinny, while the other was short and fat. The tall one had a sword on his back. His eyes were electric, and faint black and white runes revolved within them. His cultivation base was at the peak of the third step of the Nether Passage realm, on the verge of reaching the fourth step. As for the short one, his face was dark, and he had a curiously large axe on his back. The axe head was as large as a table, from a distance. It looked like he had a tortoise shell on his back. The short one nodded slightly at Long Chen, startling Long Chen. He quickly realized that this person was on the side of Elder Long, or he wouldn't greet him like this. You are Long Chen? What did you come here for? Demanded the tall one. 
I'm taking a trip inside the Yun Yang world, said Long Chen, sensing the vague hostility from the tall man. He got straight to the point. The divine families have ordered the Yun Yang world to be sealed. No one may exit or enter. You can leave now, barked the tall man. Long Chen extended a hand, revealing a tablet. This is Elder Long's tablet. Out of the way. The tablet was something he had specifically asked Elder Long for. When he had said that he wished to enter the Yun Yang world, Elder Long hadn't asked anything. He directly handed him this tablet. The short one nodded and waved his hand. The people behind him opened a path. Slow down. This tablet was given to you by Elder Long? Is there any proof? Snorted the tall man. Who are you? Asked Long Chen. If this person wasn't from the Yi family, then he had to be someone closely related to them. I am the commander of the Seventh Legion, Yan Fei. I suspect the veracity of this tablet. I'll go and ask Elder Long for confirmation. I can only let you pass once I have that proof, said Yan Wei indifferently. Hearing that, the Dragonblood warriors and everyone else was infuriated. Just how long would that trip take? Oh? So you're a commander of the Heavenly Dragon Legion. Long Chen Zhou was very long. His hand suddenly shot out, and in front of everyone's shocked gazes, he slapped Yan Fei. How brazen, to pretend to be one of the commanders of the divine families. You're courting death. 